I just realized I'm muted. I didn't realize that I'm muted. Okay, well that makes sense. <laughs> how you did? Yo, Siphon, can you tell me how the audio is? I should be in Discord right now. If anybody starts talking. Hold on. Happy birthday, Izzo. Thank you. It's really right, quiet. Uh, let's get anyone some that's not one through four. That's good. Now that we got him talking, how's the audio, Siphon? Hope you have a good one, by the way, my guy. Note should be updated if I if you guys see someone in there that shouldn't be, or if I'm missing someone, please let me know. Doing this more than one group. This time as a sub rogue. Good luck, Dal. Thanks, fam. Appreciate it. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some progression on the boss, man. We're hoping. Hoping for the very, very best. Hi, guys. What's up, Tony? How are you doing, my guy? Hope you're having a good one, man. Hope yeah. you're having a good one. <laughs> what's up? What's up? It looks like I am starting star. Siphon oh, yeah. becoming a member. Oh, Yo, my man. Oh, baby, gotta ask, like, Siphon for being a member and for the donor early, my guy. My man's been That's generous so today. What did I? Yo, thank you so much, Siphon. I appreciate it, fam. Yeah, that's really generous of you. Not only was a fat donor earlier, my guy, but now you're also a member. Yo, make sure to connect your account on Discord. Make sure to connect your YouTube account that you just uh, became a member with on Discord so you get a special role. Feel free to spam the emotes on the chat as much as you want to. Nobody's gonna <laughs> ban you for literally spamming if you want to just fill the, fill the chat with emotes. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I really, really do. My goodness, good luck today, yo, Tony. Hopefully we'll get some good progression on this boss. Have a great fun raid, mate. I will, Felipe, I will. We're swapping a little bit. We're doing a little bit different, boys. We're going to go subtlety because we want to see progression and want to see if we can make some impactful damage happen. As Outlaw and subtlety, I find both of the specs are very, very similar in terms of the damage output for this fight in particular. It doesn't really feel like one or the other are that advantage. much better when it comes to um, when it comes to trying to make progression happen here. Like, both of them do about the same boss damage. Subtlety has technically more funneled. Am I trying to duel you or trade you? I think I was trying to duel him the whole time. So, I don't know, man. I just feel so weird about it. Like, sub is not as fun as it is to play Outlet for this fight. And Outlet and sub have a very, very similar damage out, but at least with my gear. We're going to try playing sub and we're going to try to really play into the funnel gameplay and try to see if we can funnel comp points into uh, Lich Gate during the uh, intermission phases and we'll try to funnel it into the uh, the monster's soul as much as possible. Try to see if we can get whatever burst we can. Really focusing on the single target rather than the AoE aspect of it. And maybe we'll be doing okay down below for like the AoE portion when we go down for the King's Mourn. I don't know if there I should maybe focus and just nuke that ad because it seems like the other small ads just get wiped out quickly. So maybe I should just focus on just AoEing and then funneling into the big guy as fast as possible. I think it really all just depends. I feel like maybe I should because there's a lot of AoE classes, especially in group one. So I don't really know. But we'll wait and see. I have to give it a couple of shots, a couple of attempts, and see how it goes. Uh, this is the plan for the night. Sorry, I'm continuing. So we are interrupting the second set of ads on Star, and then we're apparently we're CCing the third set of ads on Circle. Somebody even age mount. We can go for a deeper strat. I think we'll be okay yeah. too. I'm an idiot. Are my town's good. My Mog is all kinds of messed up. Yo, let's go for the full Ezio Auditorium Mog, boys. I think I can do it on this guy as sub, easily. So we'll reverse that. Keep it as is. Are we gonna go like full Assassin's Creed Mog on this guy? I need the pants. I got the legs. I need the gloves. I 
And I think I want to have both of the daggers. Are those both mythic? Okay, both of them are mythic. That will do the work, dude. <laughs> Wait, chat, what do you guys think about this Mog Man? This is the full mythic set for rogues. Full rogue mythic set. I don't think I could wear this on any other class, but I would love to wear this on my monk or my demon hunter. This looks so good. This just looks fantastic. I wish I had the better cloak that kind of match the patterns that I have on the chest and the uh, the sides. But like this cloak will work okay for now. I feel like I just I do need a better cloak though. I do need to at some point see if I can create a catalyst one. I guess maybe next week or something. I'm also running out of sharpening stones. Whenever we get a long way back up, I think I'll need to buy some more. <sighs> and hopefully we get phase three, boys. That's what we're hoping for. Hoping to see intermission two. Hoping to see if we can make P2 so, I mean, make sure done very, very clean. Attention to the uh, kind of grip order that Strix doing. Oh, we got a different uh, set of boys here. We got a Raladin. Okay. That's a new Paladin. We got Coralius Flame Disc, so healer mains. We got Lamunts, who's not a healer main, but can off heal pretty well. Enchant the boots. Oh, true. I did have an enchant already. Uh, long boy. Yo, can I get a, um, <clears throat> yo, can I get a long boy one more time? Dude, staff got me covered. The chat, the boots. I had the enchant on the boots too. And it like fell off when I creation catalyst this thing up. Okay. Oh, we should be good. Now, do I need anything else? I think I'm good. That being crit is actually fantastic. That being haste is not amazing, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, number set. Melee to the right of Anduin. Chat, yeah, what do you guys think? Should I go pray in the week growl. here? Or do you think Night Terror is a little bit better? Because we're running Crippling like Poison here for the slows and the adds. But I'm wondering if maybe like we drop Night Terrors because that could help me establish an early slow before Crippling Poison really applies on the target. Do you think we should swap to pray in the week, which could be good for the adds in phase two? Because landing a full max home point stun on those things and making the target take 10% more damage could be highly valuable. That could be really, really, really good. Okay. I don't know how consistently I'll be able to have a stun ready and the calm points ready, but that could maybe work. What do you guys think? Pray in the week or just play it safe with Night Terrors just so I can have some kind of slow? Because with Night Terrors, at least whenever I have Phantom Knives, I can establish a slow. Not an amazing slow, but it's a slow. Which is better than no slow. Getting a base slow, and then eventually I'll end up getting a luck proc on the cri uh, crippling poison, which will give a better slow. Okay. There we go. I might just need to try one or the other. Do one one pull and see if the ads are getting so consistently. And if they're just not consistently getting hit by a crippled poison at all in the AOE with fan, then I'll just switch it around. Uh, I have my, my covenant ability is no longer on my bars. That's very awkward. Oh, I even uh, don't have my. Probably Theochar is not even enabled, is it? Yeah, it's not. Okay. We're gonna lose on some damage here. Barrier and three pull. Be in it. Fuck you, Bob. <laughs> Subscribe for blasphemy. King Warn One. Watch well, us get like the most more progression while I have my wrong soul binds and everything in this pool. I'd be a lot of sad. Oh yeah, he does go left, then right. Man, what's up, what's up, gaming? I did my guy, I hope you're having a good one. Yo, what you been up to, my man? What you been up to, my boy? Hope you're having a good one. We're back at that uh, Andy Prog, you know what I mean? You know how it is. Back in the regular. Yeah, my whole go there was completely messed up. It was janked out real bad. 
You're in doing keys and rating? Let's go. That's awesome. Uh, apparently we're dead. Okay, this works out because I can go and reset my stuff. That's actually okay. okay. Yeah, what are you playing right now? What are you gearing at the moment? Was that too long or was that not CCing? Uh, Going into oh, Deathstroke yeah. again? Yo, let's go, dude. That is the time to get into Destruction again. They were doing so good. We did a key as a Deathstroke earlier. I didn't do as much damage as I wanted to. We were probably two seconds slower down. But I loved it. Than we usually are. I love the amount of CC you get, especially Mythic Blesses. You can just keep blasting, uh, what is it, Blasphemies over and over, which count as Infernos, and I don't think they have any stun DRs at all. I think they're like on their own stun DR. So you keep blasting out enemies with a bunch of Blasphemies, and they keep chain stunning enemies in Mythic Blesses. Vendestra is good or underrated? Vendestra is, I don't know if it's as underrated as it used to be. I think it's actually really good nowadays. I mean, I think it's definitely not as optimal or as popular as Night Fae. But it definitely can do a lot of damage. I feel like I like it personally a little bit better than Night Fae. I just feel like Night Fae is just like, I guess a 20% crit, 20% haste is a big stat increase. But it just doesn't feel it, you know. I just, it's just hard for me to feel it. Like when I'm just spamming out my Reign of Fire with the Infernal up and about, and I just go for the big old dot with the Night Fae, and then just keep spamming my uh, Reign of Fire, I don't feel like I'm getting more Reign of Fire or better procs of Reign of Fire or anything like that. I don't really feel like the stats, like the stats are definitely helping somewhere. It just doesn't really feel like it's, I just don't notice it. With Ventir, I notice that big old Ventir blast flying in. I notice that everybody gets corrupted and the more enemies I hit, the harder it'll explode finally at the like the final boss or final enemy in the middle of it all. So it's like if the tank really stacks up everything together very tightly, it hits everybody. But I feel like that just feels more impactful. But I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. That's my favorite playstyle, honestly. Vented Warlock is one of my favorites. I prefer that over Night Fae. I've just been playing Night Fae because that's what everybody plays and I've been trying to figure out how to play a more effective build. I think next time I'll just go uh, Venthyr. Yeah, next time I do my keys, maybe that'll just feel better. It'll just maybe more feel more natural. For Mars. Team one. Got the ability to lock him for the hundred k one pull, dude. It can do so much. It can hit really, really hard. Total damage, yeah, it's huge. It's actually giga. Get in melee. Well. Kind of a weird spot right now. Maybe I shouldn't have went full pro burst just now. Yeah, without symbols of death, that was really bad. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my cooldowns a bit better with my sub. I'm gonna just go out while I just pop cooldowns, don't think about it. It's going down. It's all good. What's up, Rob? I do my man. Yeah, everything's going good, my guy. We're back in the sub. I'm gonna swap between sub and outlaw for this fight. I'm sorry, we're going to sub an outlaw. I just want to see if I can, maybe if we can see intermission more often as subtlety. I want to see if I can maybe make that funnel damage do more for me. I really want to practice that funnel damage and see if I can maybe make it feel more impactful. But so far, like subtlety and outlaw both have been feeling very, very even in terms of like the overall performance. Oddly enough, right, even though the subtlety is normally would be the better spec, it just hasn't really felt that different. Don't pull, don't pull, don't. <gasps> you missed healing ads and one DPS up. Okay. Almost made a mistake. How um, far were you guys off on healing ads? Oh, it's new assignment for Ralph. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do when I go down on Kingsborn 1. Maybe I should just focus on AoE. I keep trying to see if I can maybe single target things a little better and funnel the things a little better. Comes so Anduin's a Despair it took a bit I of damage, but man, I running. can't really funnel it like an RK Mage or a Marksman Hunter can. That's crazy. 
and my Ando and Rin damage overall is much lower than it is as Outlaw. So we gotta swap around, boys. I was already thinking maybe we'll Settle 2 will be good for intermission, but now I'm starting to feel like it's not gonna be feel that different. Just have to make shower specs for the Mount B. That was really easy. Yeah, let's go. I just have two more Mage Star specs. Which ones are you gonna go for? Or which ones have you not done yet? That's awesome though, my man. Dude, I haven't done the base shower in a while. After I got my achievement, I've done it a handful of times on stream. Maybe I should do like a mage shower stream where we just go back and start clearing some of the mage showers. Just showcasing you guys how to do it. Be like a chat, yo, which one have you guys not killed yet? Just see see which ones you guys have and just show you what I did for the strats. I would want to go back and like I kind of want to go back and do the Affliction Warlock one because that one I did with Sheez. And I want to go back as a uh, Shadow Priest and do it again. Just because that one I did it when they changed the fight. Originally you could do like a thing where you could max range the boss and you could kind of dip in and out of the boss. So you would hit it really hard so you have to like make sure to heal up, dip in, run in, circle ruin, get the hell out and let the dots work him down. He wants the DPS one for Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter one wasn't that bad. It really was uh, tough in the P1. Then P2 is all about trying to maximize your damage as much as possible. I gotta re, re relearn what I did for like some of my AoE to deal with the adds in P2. But the rest of it is just P1 damage, or just single target as much as possible. I remember P1 survivability was a big, big issue for me. Yeah, so maybe we'll do a stream where we uh, P the Mage Tower again. Get back in there. Put more rounds back in. But yeah, Twins one isn't... It's not bad depending on the spec that you do it as. Like, Frost Mage, it was super easy. Frost Mage had like a ridiculously easy time with it. You guys can hear me, right? Yep. Respectful marks. Dude, these lights have been, these marks have been really, really unfortunate for me. They've been really playing against me. I don't know, my fallen damage didn't really feel like it did much. Kind of was effective, but not really. And the Shadow Dance timing in this fight, oh man, maybe I just hold it. Yeah, maybe I just hold it there. Yeah, that timing is so weird now. I think I just hold Dance there. Which one are you doing as twins? Uh... As which spec? King Born 2 coming, get ready. To look for him. We're gonna wipe this intermission, but just keep going for a second because I think okay. some of the guys can probably benefit from releasing it. Yeah, so probably I need to change either, either I adjust my damage, I either need to adjust my dance windows here in order to maximize out value. Out. Or I need to swap back to Alpha. <laughs> how good this funnel can be. Try to funnel as much as we can. Okay, and then we swap. Please! Okay, now we got it. Hang down, but otherwise we're okay.
All right, how was our funnel? We didn't live, live that phase long at all, and you would really want to go for like a longer pull to really get any value. And the wind damage is so much lower as a spec. Remnant or King, dude, I did nothing. I'm funneling too. Oh no. I'm funneling too. Man, that's rough. Yeah, dude, I'm starting to think maybe Survival Hunter would actually do more damages overall. Just that funnel damage, the grenade resets, and the tier set. I'm thinking that might just actually be stronger than Rogue. <laughs> oh no. What about um, another mob that I want to take a look at is we actually had to do damage on him, but Edwin's Despair or Doubt is Despair, I think it is. Ah, we did okay as damn, but like not that much better than Outlaw. What's the uh, best overall for you guys and Andy? So Andy, it's second intermission. Second group zeroes down for Kingsmourne, and it's us just trying to see if we can get that second group out of Kingsmourne cleanly, and then killing off those two other adds. We're really close to second intermission. Very, very close to second intermission with the Anduin. So that's the best. Like, Percentage-wise, I won't be able to tell you. I think like close to 40, 30%. Somewhere between 40 and 30% really of the boss health, which isn't super, like, percentage health doesn't even really matter. Yes. It's more about, like, which phase right. you're in. Because his health is going to dip so fast in P2. In the back, the, uh, I mean, P2 intermission. Speed, right? Yeah, I'm a random mage player. I'm a random mage player? Okay. So, uh, to not get circles, you'd be in melee. Or you'd just be yeah, the it's, role yeah, of a range player. You, you would be closer in melee. Okay, okay. Myself, myself yeah, when I get to P3, I'll go quick as well. Now, once you get in there. Yeah, once you get to... Uh, second intermission, we should be able to do enough damage to uh, uh, to the visage of the Lich King in order to get Anduin low enough. Like, it does, his health doesn't really matter. It really is all about how much damage can we burst into Lich King in order to be able to bring Andy low. And, like, from 40%, he should dip. I mean, we do a big burn in P1, and P2 burn is going to be just as major. Okay, so I'm going to try to, like, actively focus on adjusting my rotation here. Big reset. In this barrier. I mean, see, does I'm pulling P2? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there's a there's not a lot of P uh, five minute CDs, but yeah, if you got one, definitely. I got him. One. There's a step on him. So here we're gonna wait, holding our cooldowns. So we're not DPSing. We're literally just saving CDs so we can nuke that ad out here. Because there's literally no point of doing anything else. Can't reach him. I was trying to single target him super hard. I don't know if that made any difference, really. He can pull us. I was trying to single target him as hard as I could. Four seconds. One second. We're dead. Rest in peace. How do we do there? Uh. Euro and the Warlocks are just piping that thing. I am trying to focus funnel damage single target on that thing, and it doesn't make it's a difference. just people getting hit by stars at the stairs. Man. Yeah. It's like right before the Hope Breaker, you get hit by a star and you're dead. Nothing we can do about it. Now I'm starting to think maybe go back to Outlaw. I play Venti Outlaw for this. Chat, I'm so split, man. I am torn. On one hand, I want to try to make subtlety work, but I feel like my damage is just... Star is like I can funnel, right? I can build common points and funnel it to single target, back-to-back -back eviscerates, but it just doesn't feel like it makes that much of an impact. I try to do it there on that mob, trying to hard single target it, focus it down. It's also just not going anywhere. Oh, let's say it's going somewhere. It's just the Warlocks and the Hunters piping it. I'm doing the very, very best I can. I'm literally building common points from this little ass that are waddling, not even AoEing, just focusing that big guy. And it's just, man, it's just, it just feels bad. It makes me feel like, man, <laughs> Sin Rogue time. Honestly, dude, I feel like Sin Rogue probably has a better single target output. 
and probably a better funnel. Like honestly, just as while Vendetta is rolling and you fed him nice to build up max home points for ruptures and back to back venoms, it probably is more effectful, effective. Actually, even then during that, I don't even know if you'll fan nice. I probably will just mutilate just so you can build comp points and just keep trucking. I'll give a couple more pulls to sub, man, but I just don't feel satisfied. Jim, for you, I mean, uh, by the way, hope you're having to go to my guy. How you doing? I'm torn, man. I know everybody in the mother says that subtlety is the better rating spec, but it's like the more I played in this fight, man, the more... I don't know. The more I just disagree, the more I disagree. I probably shouldn't have danced there. That was a really bad move. I definitely shouldn't have done that. Spread it. Uh, hey. And like here I was able to like even keep DPS and Anduin too. Like I'm auto attacking the whole time. I'm not losing any uptime. It feels like with Outlaw I can lose uptime. I just push the the boss and I don't lose that much damage. Man, like every fiber in my body is like, yo, go back to Outlaw, it'll feel better, it'll play better. I'm a AoE. At this point, I just don't even know what to do. Might as well just do one thing I can do is AoE. Dude, this mob dies so fast. From the wheel of fast, fast plus Venthyr, just my two cents. I don't really know how to play it well. That's my biggest issue. That's my biggest problem is I don't really know how to play it well. Because I haven't really had practice with it. And that's just me being honest with you. I literally have not, I just haven't had practice with it at all. It's not a spec I play often. At least the current version of like Venti or Assassination, I don't really know like the intricacies and complexities about the rotation. I I just feel like I would I would get it wrong. Yeah, I just I feel like I would get it wrong. Otherwise, I would like if I was confident with it and if I had practiced it before, I definitely would bring it. I think it would be much much better here, or feel much much more like reliable. If that makes any sense. I'm gonna die. Step out for a sec. That's she death, man. That's defense gone. What would you comfortable with? I might just have to. It's not even what I'm comfortable with. It's more like it's more like what I'm more effective with. I feel like. Get that okay. Like I feel like my Anduin damage is just so bad, and Anduin damage is gonna matter in P3. I don't know, man. I'm just so torn. I just want to play whatever's more effective for this fight. I just feel like subtlety is not the play. Not for me. This wall? Ouch, someone died. On Forge. That's all. Keep going. Definitely want to put a rupture on this guy. A wall coming in at the rig. New monster souls out. Big damage on this monster soul. Another wall kind of coming towards the raid. Be careful. Beating up a boomkin, which is not good. Everyone's on that soul. Everyone's on that soul. It's super far away. Oh my god. Tank died. So, like, the tank that was supposed to aggro that thing is dead, and they're just gonna go on the guy that's piping that thing. All right, well, at least we have the proper intermission. My damage, I mean, it's, it's getting a little better. Rich is willing to go in and get a lot of AoE value. But that's just pad damage. <laughs> it's all pad. It's all in these fiendish souls. They don't even do anything. They get nuked down anyway. All right, chat. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to just mute. I'm trying to check myself. I'm trying not to, ma to make sure that I'm giving the subtlety a proper go, a proper effort. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not like trying to, I don't know, man. It's like, 
every conceivable sim, every conceivable Bad damage number, everybody you. that plays subtlety, a rogue in general, says and knows that outlaw is not great for this raid, that subtlety is much, much better, funnel damage is better, but I'm just, I'm slapping these bosses as hard as I can. My Anduin damage is pretty abysmal compared to what I usually do. Venus soul damage, I mean, that's the ad, I think. King, I mean, I'm trying to slap him, do him the very best I can. I'm just not re doing the damage numbers that all these other guys are, man. At least with Outlaw, I was doing one thing right, and that was slapping around Andy. At least I was beating up Anduin. At least I was doing that. And here, as this spec, as sub, I just feel like I'm not doing anything. I don't know. I just had big pad damage though with Vicious Wound. Like, that damage doesn't even really matter. Those ads die anyway. Starting a raid, a few good luck. See you later. Thanks so much for coming by, Paul. I appreciate you, my man. I gotta figure something out, boys. I'm gonna give, give Subtle Take a couple more tries, and if I just feel dissatisfied with it, we're gonna switch back to Outlaw. Because Outlaw is at least very, very fun to play. Like, incredibly fun to play. Should be fine with Outlaw. Being conjured with a spec helps a lot. Uh, what do you mean by Kongi? Comfy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think you're right on that. Look at some of the play. But it's not even like a question of. Okay, I popped my cooldowns literally. I'm, not, I'm just not gonna summon the death here. Oh, Dad's, Dad's, Dad's was DCing or something. Yeah, okay, let's reset. Hi, what's up, Lucky? How you doing, my man? Hope you're having a good one. <laughs> you're right, Philip. Well, you're right, you're right. I'm just, I'm not even trying to talk about, like, comfortable, because like, right, I'm definitely exactly more comfortable in Outlaw. Oh, I don't think man. I do bad as subtlety at all, though. I don't think I, I think I clean up pretty good as sub. My biggest issue is trying to find something where I'm effective, Philip. It's, it's this fight in particular. I'm just, I just want to be more helpful for my raid team. I feel like them bringing a rogue compared to boomkins, compared to hunters, compared to monks, like everybody in this raid has a role. The monks are there able to AoE those ads to bring everybody back up. You have the warlocks that have stuns, you have warlocks that have the funnel damage, they will immolate all the mobs around them with a big cataclysm and that will just generate a ton of soul shards and it'll just shot chaos bolts into the monster souls and into Lich King, literally spamming one button over and over just obliterating the boss. Boom kids will focus down a singular guy with like star falling. They'll be able to clear out those ads slowly and then just have big trucking damage for the boss. Hunters will have the big cleave that will just continuously hit things nearby while maintaining like fantastic single target damage. And a rogue, like, I can funnel, but my funnel is not as good as it was. Has any of the nerf? Is it much easier? So we were progging him. He is a little easier for sure, but we're still like, we're still figuring out the fight. For us, it's still not. It's not a pushover like Halan just was. Definitely not. Anyway, as I as a subtlety, I'm thinking like, okay, well, I can funnel, right? You can build comp points and sink them into single target. Build comp points, sink them into single target. And as I try to do that, it just doesn't feel as effective. Like, that you used to have really good AO tip funnel damage, but now like you're sacrificing quite a lot of potential AOE for like a little bit more single target, but it's not like much better. I'm back bitches, what's up, Bubber? Say to my guy. Be having a good one. It was not. I like that, I'm back fishes. It's supposed to be like I'm back bitches, but it's like a sensitive version. I like it either way. How you doing, my man? I'm just mulling I'm over, here. trying to find this. Dude, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm feeling like subtlety and outlaw literally don't feel any different. I don't do more and doing damage on Outlaw, Spread it out. which at least if we hit P3, that's going to be more valuable. For the sub, I'm definitely not doing the most single target damage I can on this guy. I'm going to hold my CDs here. Hopefully we won't have deaths. He's one one. The channel not about uh, <laughs> job bad words on it. Hey, you're good, honestly. You're chilling. Yeah, you're good. You don't got to worry about nothing. <laughs> I really don't care that much. YouTube sometimes cares because it's like, you know. 
YouTube sometimes finds content where you're a bit more family friendly in your choice of words, more monetizable. But besides that, I personally don't care. Although I do have a lot of viewers that watch the streams and the VODs with their kids. So I think maybe after getting a couple of messages like, hey, like I love watching the content, I watch it with my kid, we have a good time. But like sometimes you curse a lot. I used to curse like a sailor, man. So maybe like a part of part part because of that, part because of YouTube, part because of that, I was like start to almost like sense self-censor myself. Not super badly, but it's almost like finding different words to use. Born two, get ready. Expanding my vocabulary. At least that's the excuse that I give myself. Being born too now. You know what I mean? Warlock OP, and they're from Blizzard. Dude, D Woods, they're so good. How you doing, by the way? Dude, Warlocks are so fun. I have, I got my tears the other day. We actually played it. Yo, I'm not amazing at Warlock, but first full deal best piped 50 or 60k DPS opener. It was so fun. I loved it. Keep these even. There's some really low ones. Get off them. I almost feel like a bursty build of this uh, subtlety spec. Like a bursty build, like a full dark shadow build might actually be stronger. Not even kidding ya. I almost feel like that'll be more effective. Everybody live? Keep us alive, please. <laughs> we could actually get Prague. We're only here for the glorious mustache. Well, I appreciate you, Lucky. I'm glad you joined the stash, my man. Watching your run Mythics earlier, I got on my Hunter, got motivated me. I'm level my Warlock 45. Let's go, dude. Go for it. Yeah, Warlocks are fantastic right now. Take advantage of the fact that they're good. Definitely. Enjoy them while they're good. Because you never know if they're going to nerf them again. Oh god. Uh, spirits. You ever got slapped? Tank's going to do a way better job of uh, holding aggro. Against the uh, the ads here, it's having our boys getting slapped like that when a tank can hold aggro. It's pretty uh, yikes, yikes. Too dead. I keep trying to funnel into the boss if I can. Okay, let's swap. Monster soul is out. How's all the PvE PvP these days? PvP is good. PvE not so much. Everyone's on this soul. PvP is up. really really good. Oh, we're dead. We all got hit by the wall. Let's jump off. Yeah. We all got hit by that wall there. The wall That's too unfortunate. It just spawned on top of us as we were moving. Damn. Yeah, so Aldo for PvP is actually fantastic. It's a fantastic arena spec all of a sudden. It's also pretty good in BGs too. It's just great overall. Good cooldown reduction, very, very tanky, great consistent damage. But for PvE, it's just not not performing. How many pulls so far? Rob at least 200 and slowly climbing into that 300. I don't know exactly how far from 300, but I think last time I looked, um, Okay, so maybe I'll have an insight actually. Hold on. So my um, DBM sells 246 pulls, wipes. I don't know if 246 counts like early wipes, like you pull the boss, someone dies and you wipe, or does it count like once you get into intermission, it's going to count as a wipe. So it could be any of the resets. It could be any one of those things, but like cl getting closer to like 300. I don't know what the average pull count from this guy was though. Yeah, it's a lot. I've been here on the user server shut down 3 a.m. here, by the way. Hey, thanks for hanging out. And you got her played full sub rogue. He used to pop CDs in the pool, die instantly after his burst wore off, and then proceed to brag about DPS all the time. Yo, you gotta, you know, when you, if you're ahead, you gotta, you gotta tell everybody about it. You know? Hopefully, we'll get maxed out soon. I got five slots left that aren't to 78. Yo, hopefully, King, yeah? Hopefully, my guy. Should be fairly smooth selling, uh, uh, sailing after Anduin. Yeah, A after Anduin, Regulon, H Lords of Dread, they're much easier fights after Anduin. But if you have Zerova Reinhardt, Zerova Zerova. Reinhardt said hello. I can translate for you guys. I like the name Reinhardt, dude. Back in Overwatch, big old shield, big old mace. I played Overwatch 2 beta, by the uh, way. I don't know, it just feels like the same game. 
I wonder if that will, if, if Overwatch 2 will have a return, dude. They're gonna need to change something about it. The whole mechanic of one tank, two DPS, two healers. I know they want to change the format, but I just don't know how you like it. I kind of like the two tanks. Yeah, I'll make sure your trick thing when missile comes out too. I'll make sure too. Okay. Literally, his life depends on my tricks in. His life depends on me tricks in the, the boss. <laughs> oh my god, his life literally depends on the soul. I wish you could play Overwatch. It's pretty fun. It was just, I don't know, man. It just didn't. I was just, originally, I was excited about Overwatch 2, or not as excited as everybody around me was. And then, uh, I don't know, I tried the beta and I played it a little bit. I'm not great at FPS, so, like, I'm not gonna do well. I think it will, I probably would enjoy that game better. If I was pretty decent at Overwatch or FPS in general, Either. but I'm not, so I was kind of trolling honestly. Like every time, every game I was playing, unless I'm playing like a, uh, a hero that doesn't need to aim or like a tank, I just felt like it wasn't super effective. But it's it's fun. I just didn't really know if it'll ha like have the same like hype as it initially captured. Because remember, at some point, everybody wore about Overwatch. I think it just wore off after a while. Run. Something happened to me where we were like, I can PC run it. That's oh, on Forge, man. Maybe there was an update or something. Hopefully they'll fix it, whatever it is, and we'll watch too then. I want to see if I can funnel this guy while AoEing. Maybe I should play to my class mechanics and just uh, blow my load with the AoEs. Proper AoEs. Bolt up. Get us out of here. <laughs> Get me out of here. Chat, I'm gonna give it like one or two so more. Barrier. Are we dead? Oh, we're not dead. Nice. Barrier, barrier, barrier. It's just barrier again. Okay. King more than two. Get ready. All right, so far the pool has been pretty decent. As long as P2 team can do uh, group two, as long as they go Kingsborn down there, just fine. We should be okay for the most part. I'm gonna literally pop a sippy cup. I don't know anything else, anyways. I don't feel effective. Some low ones, watch out, guys. Plus. Stack. Tanks, one of the healing ads must keep it in mind. Okay. I mean, we should have like very, very little difference between the uh, Dammy and no Dammy. I'm just gonna hold all my cooldowns to the boss at this point. Should I AoE spam it? I think I should single target, boys. I feel like I should single target. But I don't know, man. <laughs> I just feel like my overall damage is gonna feel ass. I don't. Alright, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna properly cleave the boss or funnel the boss nice gotta be very very careful do we have a dead oh that wall yeah, these wall positionals are pretty toxic sometimes, not gonna lie. That was one death. That wall, guys. Oh, I still got hit. I thought it would be okay. Oh, I don't know if he delivers it. I don't know if he dies. Oh, we what? We killed it. I'm actually very surprised. Very much surprised. Funnel as many of his as I can to the boss. And this ads are still alive, by the way. And jump. This ad's gotta die. We jump. Okay, jumpers. We have that healing ad. We get through that no problem. Oh man. Much better. All right. We pushed the 56 as well. That's kind of crazy with four down. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we really did. We pushed actually. real well. So like my eviscerates are hitting the boss for 62,000, but it's just, it feels like so 
bat compared to everybody's class. <laughs> oh man, Chad. Do we just Chad, do we just throw in the towel and go back out or, or just believe in the subtlety dream? Man, I'm trying to be effective. Hey, back at the end when I see him. Yeah, we're still on him, Fat White. How do you feel about chance of beat him tonight? Honestly, as long as we can get the intermission down and we should be able to CP2 consistently. We got a couple of new people swapping in. It looks like they're trying to get a feel for things. I work for any minds all the time at work today. How did that go, Blaine? Oh, there's a big flex sleeve. I mean, not cleave, not that great, but single target and doing damage is substantial. Like my and doing damage on subtlety, I don't do anything, right? I don't do anything. I'm slapping the boss. I'm burning cooldowns. I'm not holding anything back. I just don't feel like I'm doing anything. Fiend soul, that's the AOE. I don't, I'm not AOEing. Maybe I'd be okay that there, but I don't know. Remnant of Fallen King, I'm not funneling it at all. Actually, I am funneling it. So I'm not AoE and I'm not cheesing. And I'm doing like, I'm focusing all single target damage, all my comp wins into him. I'm not able to build Warlocks who are getting free AoE while slamming the boss. I don't know, man. Maybe I should just try AoEing. Maybe I should just not funnel. Luckily, I haven't been, uh, haven't had to do the tires today. I did the oil change on Toyota Tacoma and then it went off. Okay, cool. And it went off. That's awesome. Toyota Tacoma. I don't think I've ever had a Toyota. I think I had a, a little, little Hyundai. A little, like, little, little beater Hyundai. A while back. They got absolutely wrecked in the car wreck. Me and my, uh, my twin had a green light. He was crossing. This dude was slammed in his brakes. You could hear a tire screeching. Slam right into the side of us. It looked like it should have taken a leg off or something. I mean, that was a big dent. I think it looked like we were really nasty, but somehow both of us were okay, and he was fine from the driver's seat. Love my first job. Five whole change alone, supervisor. Get glad to work alone. That's awesome. That's good. That's good. That's good. But you're getting like you know the hang of things. That's awesome. Happy to hear that. Big IRL prog in a way, yeah? That's cool though. You can pull it. Have three GDM cards on what die for Toyota A B original. Nissan that son. Maybe my car was a Nissan. Maybe there now is. now I'm starting to think it's maybe it was a Nissan. Maybe it was a Nissan. I wanna say it's Nissan now. I don't remember though. If I could find the wreck. Or the picture of the original wreck, I might be able to like see the uh, see the tags or see like the uh, like the labels. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> I don't even know what's it called. I'm not a car guy at all. Like I have a car, uh, but I've not really never been the kind of guy to get into cars. I'm into the PC parts, computers, IT, graphics cards. Ah, and dying apparently. Sinatra? I don't know. I don't think so. Same I have, would have no idea. There's a little beater. Uh, Wait, one ad missing. Is it a jumpers? Do we just jump? I don't know if we live this. I have to ask that, man. Do you get oil change or car changes? Uh, do you get that car at oil change and the tire changes? To my car or the one that got Figure obliterated? Obliterate? No, I haven't got the, that change at all. In fact, it's actually at a chop shop. It got chopped up in the chop shop. My car? So the oil change that I got, I got the, the good synthetic, but I don't really ever drive it. So last time I went to a, a place to get my oil change, they were like, yo, I, I could change, I could take your money and I could change your oil, but like your oil is so clean. You can literally like, if you barely drive, like you don't need an oil change for a while, my guy. He, he felt bad taking my money. Go again. Two healers down. Yeah, just dead. 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 Ah, we dead. We don't need him. what do we do? Do we just? Do we just do it? Do we just take the leap, take the plunge of the boss's room, and just go back to outlaw? Cause I don't feel like I do anything. A subtlety. 
I don't feel like doing boss damage. <laughs> and maybe it could be my stats, man. I have 40% crit. How much more crit do I need? Maybe I need like no haste and all versa. Maybe that'll make a big difference. I don't know. Assassin? I don't have assassin set up. Otherwise, I would. I don't have assassins set up at all. <laughs> Probably using LVY. Me? Not at the moment now. Uh, last one was not a GDM, and I don't care. Fair enough. Shelby GT 500. Aren't GTs like really expensive? Cool moons, I hate you. Could be wrong though. Yeah, Assassin would be better on this fight, but first, it would give me a lot more single target damage though, it's impactful. I'd be able to single target Vendetta the Monster Soul, or I can single target Vendetta the Lich King, and that'll probably be a lot more impactful with damage. A subtlety, I keep trying to funnel it. I, maybe that's the problem is I'm trying to funnel it. Maybe I just need to AOE the hell out of the ads. And maybe it'll be okay. Somehow, some way, it'll just work out. Has a setup in four minutes, a Legos and one-shot plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has a setup, uh, 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 minus four set. Oh, so you have the setup without the four set. Oh, with four set, it's so much more impactful, but it still can do a lot of damage. My first goal was a 2,700 fit. It's still a great mileage, 175k right now. That's pretty good. I mean, if it still runs at 145, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I had a, uh, it's a pass down. Last time I had a car that really, really lasted a long, long while was a, um, it's like a Suzuki Forenza, I think, 2007 or 2008 or six or five, maybe even. No, six, seven or eight, one of those two, um, I think. But it uh it, it didn't quite get a hundred thousand miles. It didn't quite get a hundred thousand. It started really falling apart, and then they really stopped producing the parts here locally. So getting parts for Suzuki as you're trying to replace it, it was tough. So I basically just had my guy, like really bear, just try to keep it afloat for as long as possible while trying to invest the minimum amount of money into it. It was a car that's been worn for a while, and it just it, w it was one of those cars where it's like I don't think it's gonna be able to I'm gonna be able to save it. It 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 didn't always get treated well by previous owner by previous drivers. Let's just say that. Brace yourself. I don't want to like so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, that's I, I mean, right now, honestly, you just need to get some sort of gear that can become creation catalyst bl blubber blubbers, and you can. I keep calling you blubbers. I don't know why. I think I just said fish earlier, so I keep saying blubbers. But it's bubbers. That's my fault in that. But I guess I could call it bub. I feel like bub is almost like a. It's like a hey bub. That's almost like a bad way. <laughs> so it's like when you say somebody aggressively hey bub. But um, yeah. If you get enough cosmic flux, you can use the creation catalyst to create tier set. You just need like the gear for the conquest or a dungeon or raid. Even like normal chest for just chest pieces, shoulder pieces from the raid right, the that are not tier, they can become tier as well. I'm just looking to see what. I don't work tomorrow, so I can catch a stream. Also, on some minute, days sorry. you can just stream yeah, that day. Yeah, I don't work. I don't stream that yeah, those days cool. unless there's like something going on. Better than original hunter was nicknamed. Everyone called me Beavers. I like that. That's actually a pretty cool name. I mean, besides like the besides the obvious boob joke, Boober sounds like a cool name. <laughs> Looking forward to the cross fact. Oh, uh, me too. I cannot wait. Yo, Robbie, I can't wait for Myth Plus. I can't wait to play with my friends for PvP. Okay, I can't wait to raid I with Alliance. Because I know some of our guys are going to swap Alliance just for the sake of raiding. And yeah. I can't wait to do 5 5 one, one duels, Alliance and Horde put it together. I think it'd be so fun. I think it'd be a blast. And if you do days off or Wednesdays and Sundays, that'll work that's, that's, from someone to Okay, okay. So All right. Not which yeah, one yeah, it sounds like you're, you're pretty busy the rest of the day then, yeah? Nickname from where I worked was in college, I was an adult shop. Really? Okay. That's cool. Everybody got their own stories. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. No problem. Huh. Okay, weird.
That was a really good opener. Damn, the procs hey, were flying. So this blade picked Dow's brain. I don't got much in there. So feel free. That's pretty empty most of the times. Okay. I guess I'll just keep piping the boss. See if maybe I just don't hold my cooldowns at all. Maybe that'll feel better. For it to like hold in CDs. Maybe that's the play. But then it feels really, really weird. Because now we're just fighting these mobs and they're not really doing anything. God, everything just died. Okay. Crazy. I mean, bring it up. Huge. Uh, AoE, 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 AoE. Okay, I gotta get the hell out. <laughs> get out. Barrier still up. I'm just gonna stay in. King's Worm 2, get ready. Blasting? Yo, Blade with a tambo, my man! Hey, yo! Oh, you didn't so no, just love you the energy dial over a great stream. Yo, thank you so much. Can we get to ask like Blaine boys in the chat? Showing up, appreciate you all for doing my man. Thank you so much, my guy. I appreciate ya. Yo, thank you, thank you. Yo, can we get to ask like Blaine? I think I can do it real quick, yeah? Blaine? Without dying, maybe? Yo, hashtag blame boys if you have one. Thank you so much, my guy. I appreciate it. Very, very extremely generous of you. Thank you so much. Let's stay in. I think we're dying. Bringing us up early. I think we're dead. Uh, yeah, we missed the mob and we have two dead. I don't think it's worth. I think we just go again. Yo, thank you so much, boys. Hashtag blame if you haven't yet. Are we still gonna try it? One down, we got one mob missing. I guess we're gonna try it. Should just jump. We're not gonna push through. Yeah. Maybe if we didn't have all of us down, I think we would have been okay because Frost DK would do a lot of AoE. Alright, chat. Let's just do this. Let's just Somebody swap back to Outlaw. Down something down there. Damage wise. Let's go back to Outlaw. I know, but your damage was slower than the last two videos. Do, 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 do. No, Urs, come on in that with us. Yeah, I just, I'm just trying to gauge like my ancillary DPS there, that's all. Are you talking yeah. about the second group's damage? Yeah, you guys are like pulled up early. Well, no, we were pushing you where you were calling the past three pulls to get pulled up. Uh, I don't know. We'll just go back to Outlaw for now, boys. Vent to your Outlaw. I was gonna make sure I get the right talents for it. Drab, gotta go back to Drab Blades, Ghost of Strike. I wish you'd be good. This might feel, honestly, a little bit better. I'm going pretty. I'm going Oom, not gonna lie. That's another thing that I miss about Sub is running Duke C. I probably should have uh, remembered to right, add so that. Do now I feel weird, dude. Good. Now I'm feeling weird because I missed the Duke's tea completely. Easier, I guess. Big Unforge, man. Big Unforge. I just gotta get better at the... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. are you going down it with five holy power? Yeah. Okay, so you should have your hammer. See so hammer before, right before we go down. Then wings, virtue, rule, rule. You then use your um word of glory on them get the 10 stack hit a martyr you then should holy shock to get your third then you word of glory another one and then you light of the martyr again and that should all be within your I like the mog and that Look should that. top all of them right away it's like a, a corrupted death knight it looks badass no okay. matter like how far because the, the rule will raise your mastery so even if they're walking like halfway out it should be fine does that make sense? A lot of here, okay. Okay. Huh. Okay. I know it's an adjustment. I know you were doing this on the priest, so I expected there'd be some adjustment time. Just want to make sure if there's anything we can do. Just let me know. What do you use for your music? I got you. Oh, I'm sorry. There's my whole mix, my guy. Uh, Not really. 
Okay, that we're fine. Helps. Yeah, that definitely helped. Falcon Swordcast, I know. Uh, can you kind of explain the deep, the melee DPS patterns while you do the fight? Melee DPS patterns? Well, what do you mean you by that, Big Cruise? Like positionals, do you, or like uh, rotationally? Uh -huh. Like, do I I'm do things right. different? <laughs> Where do I like, which is my play style? Depends what you mean, Big Cruise. I can. I've been writing explain the melee DPS patterns while you do the fight. Details. Like mechanics of what I'm going to be doing next, or like where I'm going to need cooldowns, where I'm not going to need cooldowns, where I'm going to focus on, where I'm not going to focus on. When like how to properly do the fight as a melee DPS. Okay, yeah, I can maybe do like a talk through as I do this pool to explain more or less like what I'm, what's going through my head, what I'm thinking. We're going to switch over to Outlaw tonight for a bit. Subtlety, just not feeling that was just it felt like it was something was off about it. Just didn't feel like it was affected damage wise. Stop your generation. I'm but yeah, ready. I'll go over like what my part is. So I'm in the uh, I play enhance. I just want to position the stuff. Okay, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, that gives me a bit of a better idea of yes, like what sorry. I'm doing, what uh -huh. what I could do to help you. So I'm doing the kings more in one phase. So I'll be going down in the first group. So that will be slightly different when you do kings more in two because you'll have like a bit of an AFK up top. Which is going down, but this is like me going down. So at the beginning, just open up and pipe the boss. Make sure that you're in the uh, in the buff. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Barrier's coming. Oh, Blart. Yeah, I do, I do. Yep, I do. It. So here we're spread a little bit. It, it's not a bad idea to spread kind of far out just so you can see who's got more buff. And then running towards a buff with a yellow or with purple. Okay, well I guess I gotta go here fast. They're gonna get screwed, I think. I think they're gonna get screwed. Kingsmore yeah, they're gonna get screwed. Or not. So we're gonna be going down for Kingsmore 1. We're in the ad. The tank is gonna take him to the left. I'm basically just following the ad. I'm not doing anything crazy here. Just following the ad, following the tank. That grip was really, really bad. I think one of the mobs just went in. Uh, so that was really, really bad. But I'm just following this big ad and cleaving off of it. As an handsome shaman, you'll probably be doing exactly the same thing. Just cleaving off of this thing. Yeah, one of the ads went in. We have one egg win. And now we're just behind the boss. If you're ever unsure what to do, like up above, you just show behind the boss. You don't like the tunes? You don't like the music? I mean, I can skip the next song. What music are you into, Jonathan? Does that play NCS? On average. Yeah, I usually don't really get a lot of complaints about the music we play. Usually people like the, the tunes. Usually they say the bop, but... Yeah, like, what are you into? What, do you, what music are you into more than anything? I think it's a little bit more heavy. Because anything copyrighted, I can't play. Not on YouTube. On Twitch, you can't, but also you can. I've been seeing a lot of people play music, but I think the way that they do, like, their ingest for OBS, like, basically the what they feed to the stream live versus what they feed into the stream VODs. Basically in VODs they feed just their microphone and then somehow find a way to like not feed the music. So then they can still play whatever music they want to on Twitch. I don't know how they do it, but they somehow do it. I'm not really sure how. If I can do that on YouTube, man, I would. The tunes are good? Yeah, I don't really mind them. I never really get anybody complaining about them. Let's go chill. Let's go like them. I mean, I can maybe go for a different mix. Do you have CE? Miss you? No, 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 no. We're in Andy. We're in Andy. We ain't gonna see you anytime soon as long as we keep hitting Andy. I wish. I wish. A lot of our boys are very, very excited to get to a Jailer and just go through a hell that is Jailer and then be done with this tier in particular. Ready? A lot of us excited for like season four stuff and just doing something different for a bit and just really waiting for Dragonflight. Like, anyone is a good fight, but it's like, man, we're not great at it. I thought it might be in Prague? Yeah, this is Prague. I wish it was a re-clear. I'd rather be re-clearing. Super died? Did it jump off? 
I think someone was AFK. Yeah, yeah. We're just running off. Getting wins. All right, keep up. Reset. Quick. Okay. Yeah, that was a weird go. Any more than season four? So season four will be that at some point awesome. later. Season four will be at some point later around. in the patch 925. We don't know exactly when. Well, they said that season me? three, <laughs> season three is gonna last about the same duration as season one and season uh, two, which is roughly between like seven to eight months, maybe even six. So it's always with turtle too. It's bullshit. after season three has lasted about six to seven months or so, then they're gonna do season four. But 925 and season four are gonna come at a different time. First is gonna be 925. Later time it's I gonna be season four and nine about. to five. I don't know how many months things. we've been into season three though. Okay. I actually have no idea. Any word I can I find you mix? Mind. Yeah, I have people are here. On your face next there you go, time. my guy. All right, so how are you doing, my man? Hope you're having a good one. It's just an NCS Bro, mix, man. With all the spit. Just an NCS and whatnot. Dude, apparently one of the new NCS Bob songs from stream awesome. earlier got claimed called Escape. I wonder what that song is. Apparently, some song we I'm can't play sure on stream. Community contract. My dad works for Blizzard. He's gonna put it in just for me. Oh. I don't see why it's a bad thing. I spit on myself all the time. And see, some bangers. They're not bad at all. I mean, it's like it's what uncopyrighted music. But like, out of all the different uncopyrighted tracks you can get on YouTube, uh, no, besides like Doom to, uh, music, which is purely uncopyrighted. There really isn't a lot of good stuff that you can really listen to. I mean, NCS sometimes gets like really good bangers, really good bops, and other times like nothing, nothing amazing. But apparently, if one song got claimed on the earliest stream. So I wonder if I doubt what it is. Yeah, season four KSM all looks so good, D Woods. I'm excited for that thing. Which one K? One point six K or day take a break from WoW? Hey, okay. Wait, one point six from PVP or Mythic Pluses? PvP? Hell yeah. Wait, you're so close to 1800. Right. I mean, do whatever you want to do. Don't let me stop ya. But this is so close. I believe. Okay, I'm gonna hang out with the Boomy. I usually like to hang out with a, with a buddy. I like to hang out and make a buddy system of whoever I chill with for like the, uh, the soaks. So I usually hang out with this boomkin over there, so I can soak those all orbs together. I just, I just mainly want to make sure to move for the ranged. And again, we're going down big. I'm just going to sit on this guy and just cleave off of him. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just cleaving. I'm just cleaving, letting takes position him. If you need to pop a defensive down here, this would be a good time to do it if you're just taking a bunch of damage. Sometimes I do it just in case, just to be safe. Other times I take a big damage and I do it then. If you're not struggling dodging, because these things just cleave off of this main big guy. Especially as enhanced when you got a lot of that single target. Cleaving that dude is probably the best uh, choice of action, honestly. What's a good old Blizzard chain? You can't send mount from aqua to purple. I like it. I like the uh, I like the purple a lot better. I like the purple a lot better. Personally. I mean, maybe somebody just likes the purple, but I love it. I think it's good, the fact that they changed it. They listened to the community feedback. I was like, all right, we'll adjust the color. And they did. How cool is that? I think more of that stuff should happen. I think the uh, gladiator mount should get like the, like it's like celestial looking wings rather than the dark wings they normally have. Somebody was able to like Photoshop or model it in I think Unity with glowing white wings instead of like the shadowy dark wings. And it looks fantastic. It looks cosmic. It's supposed to be like the cosmic mount. Cosmic gladiator mount or something. Okay, I'm dead. I'm actually just dead. Maybe the heal? So here as a DPS, the only thing you want to do is get in front of melee whenever you have the barrier. Absolutely. Outside of that, you're sitting behind the boss the whole time, big. And then you got the buff, you want to just Freeze give it to course. somebody, make a friend, hug it out. And then you want to free these guys Boy. out, whatever they call for people. Usually group two down below will call for like, hey, can you get us out of there? I think you just DPS in the boss. You just sneak at the boss as much as you can. You don't do anything special, just DPS in. I do CPS, and then afterwards you just hit Lich King and cleave as much as you can while dodging. Basically, you're following where the tanks go, but you want to dodge the walls as best you can. That's about all you can do. There's only so much you can do in this fight, in this part of the fight. Cleave as much as you can, 
at his enhancement, I think you want to try to do as much single target as possible. You'll have the big guy, the Lich King, and you have the Monster Soul, which looks like an A-bomb. You want to avoid the walls the best you can. And you want to swap to A-bomb whenever he is out. And just nuke him down when he starts casting. Definitely swap and nuke him down when he starts casting. Keep cleaving for free. There's no point of not cleaving for free. And they're just hitting Lich King. Falling, running over the Fallen King. Just keep killing Papa Arthas. And dodging walls. You can kind of see where the walls are going to go ahead of time. If you're like, stand kind of like on a corner. Not near like where a wall may spawn. But if you stand like on a side, you'll be mostly fine. Second Monster Soul, you want to start slapping that as soon as possible. Monster Soul, the second one, you will slap as fast as you can, but also watch out for the walls. Walls are going to be different every single pull. Not, nothing you can do about it. You literally Finish can't control it. Keep pushing DPS. Way. Don't get off of the soul. Keep pushing DPS. You want to make sure it's all the way dead. And keep cleaving because these adds eventually are going to become out of control. If, you, if, you're, if your raid isn't able to kill him easily, keep cleaving him and just focus single target DPS. And there you go. And that was intermission. We did that clean, by the way. There we go, boys. <laughs> I like it. And now we're going to get a bit of CC here. So this will be marked. Like, so, like you just stay in on Anduin, and you're killing whatever ad you guys are near. So usually you'll start with green. You'll be slapping this guy around as best as you can. Usually somebody will have CC for the other ads. I don't think you can hex him as a, uh, as a uh, priest. I mean, as a shaman. But you do have shorter interrupts and you have range, so you will want to be aggressive with the interrupts here. It can, it'd be very, very helpful for your team. Next. Now we're moving aggressively, walking from one mob to the next. We have a interrupt rotation, so you would have normally an interrupt rotation already assigned ahead of time. You can pull boss over to next. We just want to make sure we don't have to break it yet, but we want to get King's Worn here. Warm okay. Yeah, we have to yep. accommodate that every time. I think we already... We, we don't have an in Tim. Okay. Uh, you're right. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll what do you think about the rotation during Mythic Plus coming season? Yeah, I'm actually yeah, excited I'm about Live or Die. Uh, like, you're talking about the season no. 4 or like Dragonfly? Yeah, I'm excited for both. No? I'm excited for both. I am still trying to yeah, mull over the idea of like... Because part of the no, community in WoW wants for us just to get yeah, more Mythic Plus dungeons. And I think that's a perfectly sound idea getting more content dude the, the, i would sorry, love if the, the legion the dungeons were constantly uh, we available for us to do keys good. with i'd rather do a lot of legion dungeons than shadowlands dungeons i think i've done shadowlands dungeons for I way too long good. i'm perfectly fine with I getting a little bit of variety in my diet you know what i mean what? trust me i got plenty of variety in my diet we, <laughs> we gotta keep cool to maintain that culture cool look boys binding if but we're getting all gripped in because then they're gonna no, jump like, out and on a serious note stunned, so won't be yeah like i don't know i like that they're doing something different i like that the seasons are going to feel different i like there's going to be new dungeons new gear to get to look forward to it's going to be new experience and it's going to be varied i i find that exciting because it's going to be different it's going to be a learning experience for everybody i think what's also going to help out a ton Hyperbot Mechagon, love the dungeon. We're it was so good! Like, out of all the things that BFA brought in, which wasn't a lot of things that people were excited for, Mechagon was a fantastic dungeon. Once you figured out how to do it right, I love the workshop. It's pretty easy when you grab the uh, Zap bots. And then, no, no, Junkyard when you grab the Zap bots. And the workshop is very straightforward. Yeah, very, very excited for it. And for some players, they've never done Mechagon. They've never done Karazhan. They've never done any WAD dungeons, like as a Mythic Plus Keystone or Challenge Mode for WAD. So it's very, very exciting because you have people that have never done the content and it's going to be their first time learning it. It's going to be your first time re-remembering how the dungeons are ran and everybody's going to be learning it all at once. And I just love that. I think that's just exciting to me, man. I love that it's a new and different experience and I'm glad that they mess with content. For the longest time we've said Blizzard made so many cool dungeons and mechanics before, but they just get abandoned when you move on to the next expansion. Like, it doesn't have to be abandoned completely. We can just like, let us run those dungeons again, just upscale it for us. And that's exactly what they're doing, and I'm glad they're trying it. Hey, you know what? That's something we want, but maybe we'll try it. Maybe we're like, you know what? It's not as fun, it's not as exciting doing the same dungeons we've done before. And maybe it'll be like, okay, well that was an experiment and there's no big deal, right? We give it a try, it didn't work out super well. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll get it next time. You know what I mean? There's no, no harm, no foul with it. It's how I view it. No big deal. We tried it, didn't really work out, wasn't as good as we thought it was going to be. That's okay. It's how I view it. Or maybe it'll be fantastic and people will love the idea and the concept. And it'll be just really, really fun just because it's new and exciting. 
and new for some players because some people never did carry before ever <laughs> it's gonna be so because you dude i didn't realize so many people did not play legion i did not realize how many of you guys in particular did not play legion you just skipped out on an expansion altogether it was so good i had so many people that played legion i like the effort to give us exactly i like the effort hey you know what if it doesn't work out we'll let it we'll let them know and we'll figure out something else if it doesn't work out and it's not, it's like if we think that's what oh, we want, but that's an area. ah, a little bit late. No interrupt. And yeah, no AOE and the acid and get up. killed. Wipe that up. The general overall on BFF is really good. You know, actually, yeah, they weren't that bad. Well, there are a handful of dungeons that I didn't really like. I think, I think. The cast cut off, right? Uh, Wait. Can't stun in melee when. Here we go. <laughs> so I'm trying to pull this up. Uh. If I can get res, then I can switch. That's so. I feel like there wasn't as much add damage as there was before. Okay, that, that was weird. Not what I meant to do. Alright. Let's take a port. Alrighty. <laughs> I told the Czar, loved it. Freehold, fantastic. King's Rest wasn't as bad once you figured it out, and they're really good during last season. Machigon, fantastic. Shrine of Storm is a hit or miss. I liked it at times, and I didn't like it at times. I really liked the the healing mechanic at the very end. The first boss was kind of cool. The second boss was kind of interesting, especially once we figured out the cheese we could send on a stone as a range and just cheese the boss completely. Uh, or even as a DPS, as I also had that range. Teacher Borellas, it's a hit or a miss. That, that one, I liked the last boss, but everything else in between was kind of like, I don't know. So Thrallus was good, it's just not a lot of people ran it. But it's actually a really easy key once you know how to do it. Mother Lord was not my favorite. It wasn't a bad dungeon, but it wasn't my favorite. Understank, another one of those, likes the Thrallus. It's actually not bad once you know how to do it, but not a lot of people ran it. Told the Gore was everyone's nightmare, but dude, I kinda love Told the Gore aesthetically, but it was so bad on anything that has to do with Sanguine. Wakerest was mwah, fantastic thematically, also pretty fun overall. You know, looking back, they actually were not that bad. Like, I feel like doing those dungeons over and over, they got stale after a while. And depending also on the seasons, like during certain seasons, some of these dungeons were really, really bad, and sometimes they were really good. Like, I remember I thought the Zar was really good for the first three seasons, and then in season three it became harder because of the way they put those ladies in. And then also the uh, the portals, they also put them in like really weird locations. So you really had to go out of your way to do a Tal the Zar to make it a little bit more challenging. So I feel like that kind of concept was really defined by the seasonal affixes. But they were really not bad dungeons, Spread like it. looking back at them. Looking back, maybe I treated them too harshly. <laughs> okay. Unlucky. I'm trying to see if I can maybe get a... What is it? Give my boomy a hug? Whenever we get the uh, mechanics to like run into each other. I'm trying to see if I can swap it to him. This is unable to, man. What's your favorite was SCC, Serpent Shy Caverns? Yeah, that was a good one for TBC, yeah. Really like the first season affix with the ghost? Uh Wait, the so first thing, uh, you mean for BFA season affix? So the first one I think was actually, uh, I think it was Infested. I think the ghost one was the second season. Oh, but I could be wrong. It's been a bit though. Maybe I got the wrong. I'm sure you'll correct me. But the Can ghost one with Bonsamdi, that was a good one. A lot of people didn't like it because it was so simple. It was maybe like way too simple for some people's taste, but... I enjoyed it. I, I thought it was really, really clean. It was great for auto rogues because we could pipe. We go for blood of the enemy, big AoE, just nuke things down. We had really, really bursty AoE output. It was really fun. I just see death. I don't know what killed me just now, but something literally killed me. Tell me that, guys. are super low already. Oh, these mobs are gonna end up uh, popping. Yeah, already. Yeah. Oh, we missed two healing outages. It's a river. Oh, I'm Forge. I think it's, I think it's wipe. This feels so much better as Outlaw, by the way. Let's fight in general. Feels a lot better as Outlaw. What killed me, though? What hit me so hard? Was it Befouled Barrier? Something hit me harder than normal. Look at that boss damn dude. At least I feel like I'm doing something. 
Look at that boss damage. And I feel like my despair damage and Tao damage is not that much worse. Wow. Season 4 after was so fun. Yeah, it was so cool. The ports and the mobs. The beating bosses were pretty cool too. But it's the ports and how you can control. Oh my god, it was so great. I know I really don't mind this affix because it gives you skips. It's pretty simple. Cooldown reduction is really cool. I hate Vi. I wish it buffed Vi. Like if they just buff Vi so it does a lot of damn, I think it would have been okay. But they could be like, do we need mana cooldowns? Okay, we go err. Do we need damage? We got cooldowns? Okay, we'll just kill Vi. I feel like if they just did that, it would have been okay. But I'm okay with it. I'm alright with it. Hit the affix with a jar. Yeah, that one's so terrible. A lot of people liked it because it was challenging and difficult. A lot of people that I play with, I straight up masochist because they liked it at the high end because it was like fun and interesting and entertaining and you have to use cooldowns and stuff. But I don't know, man. I am just a simple guy. I prefer affix because it's like easy where I can just go in and slam some DPS and just I can be happy with that alone. I can agree. I kind of like the purple mount. It's a nice change they had uh, and they had to change it because it looks similar to the season 2 KSM mount. It looked really similar. Like there's so many cool colors they could do for it. And I remember the season 3 mount. Like, originally, I think see, people said, like, what if that was just red? And the Blizzard was like, okay, we'll make it red. Because originally, I don't think Season 3 was intended to be red. Uh, Deathwalker, right? Yeah, this was not intended to be red initially. They did this one as, like, this dark, blue, dark, like, greenish, looked like death. This was very, very turquoise. People just liked this color a lot, because it was, like, very, very similar. It's, like, just a turn up the brightness. Then this one's red, and people are like, oh, it's red. It's like all like Venthyr looking, cool. And then the next one looks like a damn Void Walker, dude, a big old blueberry. I I think it's I think they could do blue. And I also seen some ideas of people doing like a Covenant specific ones, like a Death Walker, but you'll have like Night Fae wings and like a Night Fae dress mask, or like one that has Venti or big red blades and like little like anima cages hanging off the sides, or like a Kyrian one that's all bright blue. With like bright golden brass like decorations and like big old Kirin wings and like a necklor with big bony wings and a bone mask and like bones all over them, looking like a real Death Walker, almost like, almost like that guy that does bone storm animation, but like I would say he exploded, but then it's like stop exploding midway, and then his bones just floating around. It looks pretty cool. I think it's good for devs, man. I know they got a lot of like really, really great artists over there. Like the art team carries every single expansion. But it's awesome seeing some of those artists like take community ideas and implement them too, man. I love that. Like they have some fantastic ideas of their own, yeah, but when fair. they take the like, community ideas, man, that's just special. That's just a whole nother kind of special. And I love it. <laughs> He's not sure like oh, oh who am I gonna who am I gonna tag? Who am I gonna who am I gonna hug it out with? I got really good procs by the way. Jesus Christ. Chat, I got insane procs just now. Jesus, I'm piping Andy. Piping Andy. Probably one looks cool. I love it. I think it's great. Like just doing some wacky, really bright, vibrant colors, like why not? You know, I feel like maybe it looks less like a Death Walker, but I think it looks better that way. Because <laughs> a Death Walker is whatever we decide it is. At least that's how I feel about it. Did we miss anything? Oh, we missed somebody. Yeah, it's a jump off. It's a big jumpers. Can I just, uh. I thought maybe we could grapple. Can we get the riding of Void Walker? I know, right? It looks so good. My favorite place to do dailies was the Isle of Quothal, uh, Quothal Dinar. Is it Quothal or Quothal Dinar? QD, QD. I don't know it off the top of my head. It's Quothal... Danas! Okay, so it's Quothal Danas. Quothal Danas, Quothal Dalar, Quothal... Did I make up Quothal Dalar? I might have. I may have. Um, that's when the, uh, I got into World PvP real big. Yo, I wish I could go back and do some of those dailies, man. I mean, I guess technically you can, but like having everybody go back and do dailies there would be kind of cool. I'm sure if I would, like played TBC regularly, I could have maybe enjoyed the, uh, the experience of farming stuff in there. I missed out on a lot of the WAD. 
I mean, a lot of TBC stuff, but I think I really want to play Wrath. I really, really want to play Wrath. I'll probably get like a character boost or something just to make sure I'm all set and ready to go. I'm not really sure. I don't know if I'll level a character just to prepare. I probably want to play a Rogue and I'll play on the server where I can play with you boys. Maybe I'll play on EU. I'm not even sure. Okay, I'm good. Can we for Dragonfly with the Town Tree system? Which has touch of classic. Yeah, it does. It is very, very similar to like, it has choices, kind of like a current town system, but it also has like a building aspect of it, like classic. And like, it's supposed to be much more interesting talent traits in there. Instead of like the classic, wow, like, you know, plus two hit, plus five dodge here, or five, you know, 1% dodge hit here. Oh, you get what I mean, right? It's supposed to be like very, very gameplay changing traits and yeah, passives. Better. It's supposed to like make a character like really feel like it's improving damage wise, effectiveness wise, and promote hybrid builds. I'm very, very excited for that too. I cannot wait for them to like reveal some of those town trees as well. I'm really, really excited for that. I think it'll be so fun. I wanted to see my booby friend. I was over there near today, uh, a buddy. Yours might just die, Hunter, man. It's good that they listen to the community feedback and they decide, you know what, let's go back to the talent system. Let's make some really, really in-depth talents so people can make their own builds. And like find a way to incorporate some of the bar powers that we had in previous expansions into these talents. Because some of the bar powers we had, man, Convoke, I mean, people are, it's, it's, I feel like it made a mark in the game. I, I can't, it's hard to imagine Drew without Convoke nowadays. Like, kind of difficult, honestly. It's a cool ability. Or the A-bomb limb for the Death Knight, that's also fantastic we too. Okay, now we gotta go um, and soak the barrier. Soak the barrier, soak the barrier. Things more to get ready. You think with Lantern Fire going on live soon, it's most likely we'll be getting Alpha Dragon Fight? I would hope so. I would hope so because after nine to five and after season four, the only there's only one thing left for us, and that is Dragon Flight. The, for, the faster they can push up 9 to 5, the faster they can push up maybe like a, a pre-patched Dragonflight so at least we can get an idea of what our classes are like. I think a pre-patched Dragonflight would actually be really, really fun to play on. No. Did they miss? I think they may have missed. But you're dead. Two are dead. Pretty good. At least we got a little percent though. We got all the percent. Up, we got to roll up. We got to move DPS down, but otherwise it should be okay for the most part. Okay, we're actually doing okay, chat. We might actually be able to live this. We got DPS down, but it should be okay. As long as you can P2 consistently, we'll be all right. That's all we got to do is just get to P2 every single time. Whatever we do, just get CP2 every time. Oh my god, I'm lagging. Dazzling dead? I'm not sure how he died. Maybe wall? That wall? Oh, his outlaw walls are so much easier to deal with because I have that reach. Look how far it can be from the boss, man. I feel like I'm literally so far so away. Gotta get the big guy. On the soul, everyone's on the soul. <sighs> Dead. <sighs> Do you think we'll get a new class or race playable with the pre order of Dragonflight whenever pre order uh, become available? I think so, yeah. I think they'll do it just like Demon Hunters. Demon Hunters were available during the pre patch, and everybody who got the pre order, I think, was able to get the Demon Hunters during at least the pre patch. 
Those castles will start, like, evokers will start at level 58, so it's not like you'll have to level them much, but you'll do, like, an introductory quest line, and then you'll be able to join everybody else. Yeah, I imagine people are going to be testing them out, and there's going to be a lot of evokers and Drakthia running all over the place. Dude, RP servers are going to be filled to the brim. That's going to be insane. So that some classes may be getting some Covenants and Tauts? Yeah, some classes might be. Like, uh, we know that Convoke is confirmed to be part of the Druid kit at some somewhere. It looks like it'll be a choice between Innervate or Convoke as a spec tree, at least for Balance and Resto. We don't really know if it's confirmed for Bear and Feral, but likely to be confirmed there. Yeah, so it should be very, very exciting. I'm excited to see what other Covenant abilities, tier set effects, legendaries of Legion and Shadowlands, what other like bar powers we've had in the past, maybe like even trades from BFA, what some of those may be, may show up in our talent trees, especially in the spec ones. I feel like the class ones, the hybridness, I hope they make it as hybrid as possible. Hope you can make like a tanky Frost DK or a tanky Unholy Death Knight. Maybe like a proper tank, but like... Maybe like with certain trinkets, you can basically become a pseudo tank if so in in some way, for like mythic pluses or something in a fun way. Are you ready to cook? I think that'd be really cool to see. Yeah, I'm ready. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. That was a that was a really spot on decrep impression. Thank you. Then said they might even crush the callus. Yeah, so they are doing crush callus. They're thinking right now of making it as part of professions. Like you'll be able to be able to like. Come up to a profession guy, you'll give them some sort of a rare resource and they'll be able to craft you your tier set. I hope it won't be like the current legendary system where legendaries have become like really out of control with their prices. So hopefully they'll find a way to like mitigate that. I'm glad they're doing all the cool updates to professions in general because I feel like they've been pretty boring for a while. You know, professions really need to be spruced up in some way or another. I really don't know what they could do to make them that much better, but yeah. I'm glad they're trying to make something out of them. Like, in general. Needs more than one. Dude, we actually do so much damage to Anduin now. We're swapping specs. I thought some legends of dragon riding. I'm okay with it because legendaries and all these systems get replaced by talents. Some of those legendary effects that we use today will be part of our talents. So I'm perfectly okay with borrowed powers taking a backseat for an expansion. Maybe in the future they can find like items with special bonus effects. Maybe that'll be like class specific. I think that'd be kind of neat to see at some point in the future. Coming but in general, bar powers taking a big backseat. I'm okay with. Like, who wants to go and farm up another legendary and get, you know, go back to like a, a tower-like tour gas system, <laughs> you know? I don't think a lot of people do. Who wants to go back to farming AP like you did back in BFA or Legion? I don't think a lot of people do, man. I think people are pretty tired of that. I think people are ready for something new, something different. Oh god, am I, am I dead? I'm gonna walk out for a sec. Watch the heal. Nice. I'm okay with that. I think it's worth trying. Yes, I'll follow us. Get him out of there. Break our boys out of there. That was close. <laughs> Had one second until it's dead. So we'll see more. What we, it's good that they're continuing the creation catalyst, but we'll find out more information about it over time. How the whole profession thing will work and if it'll be functional. But they definitely gotta do something like that. Having not like a guaranteed way of getting your loot just feels good. It just feels good to play with. Like no matter what you say, it just feels fantastic to play with. Well. 
Chat, are we doing this clean? Wall? This is a pretty clean pull so far, chat. Yo, this is looking good. This is looking good. Monster soul is... Already. Blow it up. It lagged. It's okay, I think everybody understood what he was trying to say. Dude, that was a really good set of walls. And that was a really good damn overall. Okay, we gotta kill that ad real quick. Nice. Beautiful. Yo, he's a 51! Andy! Baby! Ready to Little baby Andy! He's like at 53 usually. We piped that ad so hard. I would just do damn. I'm gonna just start really piping Anduin. I gotta be on this thing. I keep hitting Anduin. Good Let's dummy. Next set correctly. We move off the Kingsborn. We need a stun on this. Kingsborn one, guys. Well, hopefully they don't miss their kicks. Okay, so it's really up to them right now. Hopefully they get it down. Uh, I can maybe still one of them. Give them a shiv. The chat, we're actually in P2. Proper P2. This is going really well. So far, so good. Cloak, because I haven't had to use it so far. Hopefully we kill this uh, end of his despair. Looks like they got the kicks down up above. You can pull us. Pull us. Ooh, Spore got really low on health for a second there. The next barriers you want to have go in the middle of the room. Yeah. Gonna start killing Diamond. DC's guys. Finish this barrier, guys. Finish this barrier. Good. Next barrier will spawn it in the middle. Thanks, please. Things more than two. Great positioning on that. That's what you wanted, right, Flynn? Yep, that's perfect. Now, barrier needs to go to middle. Oh no, that's gonna just heal the ad. Oh, Euro. Star hit. I have nine fucking star hit. That was oh, close. man. Uh, that positioning for the tanks was perfect. Really good job. Okay, we're doing that pretty good chat. What we were gonna do there is drop the bear in the middle, oh. walk away, nuke that right, ad, so we would kill and that first that ads. diamond, we'd kill green. And then we just AFK. We'd pull team two up from downstairs. Then they Everyone come up, the barrier and then we all go to the barrier, and then we work on star, that, and then we work on circle. Ad, and then and then we see intermission, dude. Intermission that was too. actually so close. P1 is the longest phase. P2 is very, very quick. Very, very snap decisions. It's actually so huge, dude. Uh, it's position. actually so good. Wow, we can actually do this. If we just see P3, dude, this is doable. Yeah, definitely. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. So I am on star and I'm on circle. Star, circle. So I'm star three, circle, I'm basically next to last. That's not that bad. I done said two. I'm on circle. And diamond. On triangle. Triangle is here. Okay. That's gonna take a while for me to learn. What I might do is I might bring up the notes in after intermission. Knowing that we did it. Dude, that's actually going pretty well. Chat, what are your thoughts, actually? King, what are your thoughts on no legendaries? And no, like, barred powers? Do you guys like the idea, or do you think the Blizzard at some point should bring back barred powers? Like, do you like the idea of barred powers in the first place? Yeah. What's up, sorry? Like, are you cool with them, like, removing them after a while, or, like, how do you think they should do it? Because I kind of miss our classes, like, hey, evolving. Hey, Boston, when you were on Freeze, yeah, I remember oh, back to, like, what, yeah, going from Wrath into Cataclysm, our so classes changed, do... and they grew in some way or another. They're going from Kata we into Mop, our classes own. grew and changed in some way or another. And then a Wad, we got pruned. And then a Legion, we got pruned even more. Yeah, so we'll do... We'll do this. But well, like, we got artifact weapons. So you'll do that. And then in BFA, we got pruned, and then we got Boy. Heart of Azeroth. And then we kind of got, like, unpruned and Shadowlands. And we got Conduit, Covenant stuff. 
It just, I don't know, man. It's been weird. Like I feel like going Especially back and forth like that is like, it's not going to last long. Not in my personal opinion. At some point, you just have to be like, all right, let's just evolve okay, our class. Let's just move on forward. Uh, Pasta, can you repeat that? Uh, how are you uh, faring? And are now Halinka, the upper has like a turn to sail itself from pruning. Dude, Halinka, what's so weird is Halinka has the biggest turnaround story. Because remember the, uh, Halinka was in charge of Wad? The group of and people and didn't down. like Halinka because he had an oh, Astrid. And that's it. That, uh, <laughs> and now Halinka is coming back to unprune us all. I mean, to give him credit, they did add a lot of new PvP talents for like patch 9.1, if not 9.15. And there were a lot of talents that play the, today. Yeah, Maybe like not the Frost DK ones, but everywhere else, yeah. Down for second. Every other class does actually use them. For you and first like, group, Frost so. Mages with Ice Wall is pretty big. Warlocks without Port is actually kind of cool. Like, it's actually cool stuff that they added. Like, really cool, neat stuff. And they no, really, I'm like, made Owl right a lot better. I think as an OG, Ashra was a really cool AMO. Ashra was cool, but I think it's like, if that wad should have just had more than just Ashra, though. Yeah, like at first I first didn't like Ashram, but I remember else. people called it trash can after a while. But I'm doing the and same Asram. People did not doing. like it because it was like just it felt like there's PvP, but there's also a lot like of PvE and a lot of like I don't know. I think everybody has their own opinions though, because some people really didn't like WAD in general, and some people love the rating of WAD. Some people love the PvP gearing in WAD. Everybody has like their own opinions though. I think that's what it really comes down to is depends what kind of content you did back then. And what was your what what was it you took away from it? Okay, so what do you want me to CC again? Just so I I'm CCing. You're you're still gonna get CC on first and that's it. After that, is it responsible for the second CC on um, circle? So, just to clarify, CC on circle, first set of ads, second set, don't worry about it. Yep. CC on circle, okay. first and, and set and of it, ads. Yep, is that we'll CC circle on second set? We'll kill Diamond off the start there. I hope we'll get some more PvP changes before 9 to 5 though. Like last minute changes. I'm hopefully we'll see some like tuning to spice up the meta a little bit. Or if anything, hopefully we'll see some tuning before a season of 4. Like some of the classes that are dominant right now, they could be toned down a little bit. And some classes that are under tune, tuned up a little bit, that would be nice. <laughs> I was really hoping we'd maybe see more uh, PvP talents before 9 to 5 though. You're Hector? In this area? Sometimes I just get random pistol shots that just fill me full of calm points, man, and it's just awesome. I just don't know when, how to react to it. It's impossible, I think. Yeah, it's pretty good. Right. King's one. Ow. Ah! Trying to get aggro? Uh, grip a hand, not gripping that one. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say grip a hand, not gripping that one, dude. I guess I hit that guy really quickly, really hard at the very start. Must have crit. Oh. Ooh. Oh god. Uh Billy? The lock? What happened to that man? Good stars here. King's born to get ready. How do you gotta give Holinka credit though? He it looks like he's taken the whole like some of the, the uh what am I trying to say? He looks like he's taken a lot of the 
feedback about PvP and gearing for Dragonflight, very, very seriously chilled. I'm really excited about that. Like, here's the guy that's like, okay, we go back to like wad style gearing and then the scaling and then they're really thinking about it. And there's like a little excerpt of the interview that Wowhead did, but like the full interview, he goes so much more detail about like what do they want to do in PvP. Okay. And I really, really like it. Spread it out. So it's good that he's listening. Need a backup stun, anybody? Oh, we're dead. Okay. We die. Okay. Now if we die. Try to see if maybe we can grapple. Sometimes it lets you. But we literally don't have a ranged AoE stun. So. Ah, uh, yeah, we do. I just need it to be called a little bit earlier. Either that or add it to the note so it appears on the Vigora that we use. Shouldn't we have... Shouldn't we have had Billy there? Anyone? My add-on said Izzo, so I'm not sure. Yeah, it was still technically second stun. Because the, it doesn't count uh, Warlock procs as stuns, and since we have so many more Warlocks, we're getting extra stuns, so it's not, like... Yeah, my weak will be going off insane. for the stun. I'm trying to see if you can figure out a way to deal with this ads with more CC. I'm wondering if the mystery work could potentially run... What's it called? I'm wondering if you can potentially run sleep with GG. What's it called? It's called... Wait, is Lucy actually playing Succubus? Wait, could Succubus actually work in this fight? Huh? Song of GG. I'm wondering if you play it. Wait, are Warlocks actually playing Succubus? Infernal Blasphemy? Wait, was he pet? This work doesn't even run the pet. Huh? Wait a second. I've got to look at the Warlocks a little bit here. One of them looks like he's running Succubus. Hero of the Alliance? Yeah, he is, dude. That's the boy. That's the man himself. Try to see if we can make it into intermission boys Follows. and then into P2. The faster we can do that, the more efficiently we can do that, the better. Ooh. So I got a barrier. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. So we can roll something good? Okay. Uh, two down. Do we go and still do this or three down? I think it's over. I think we we'll wipe him again. What killed us? Those just bleed out? Who else is stars? Hole breaker, hole breaker. No, we, we were down a healer for whatever reason. The moons died to King Morn Hungers, but that's at the end there. I don't know. I don't think we were. Huh. Weird. Any red gear druids? Lemon! Good, good gear there, or good healing there. What the? 
Dude, actually no healing. Wait, actually we have no healer. Wait, I have a long boy here. Please repair your shit. And this is why we can't have nice things. Where does Heroes Club go? Katie going down over by Blue. There it is. Does that have my toys to just move over? King, did it happen again, my guy? No way, man. No, don't tell me. Don't, 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 don't tell me. What's with these tanks, man? Or healers, or DPS? Ah, I was gonna buy stuff. Apparently not. Not today. Not today. I gotta make sure my rogue has everything. I hate having to wait and buy stuff on the long boy. Of course, continue to try to get a second key for the week. Then, by the time Knights of Theater wiped with the second boss twice, and the rogue who was lead left. Ah, oh, man. Was it like non salvageable or was it like maybe salvageable? Because I feel like people yeah. like are so pessimistic. Yeah. If it's like even mildly not salvageable, they're just bailing. That's just what happens. And it's kind of crazy, honestly. Okay, Swork, do you even have a pet? Hold on, where's Swork? Oh, Swork does have a pet. Does he? Yeah, he does. Okay, I was gonna save for a second. Look like he didn't have a pet. It was slightly salvageable. Yeah, you know, that's that's what has the problem. It's like, even if it's, if, unless it's like 100% salvageable, like people are gonna leave. It's just, people are fickle, man. That's crazy. I don't think I've had anybody, I, I don't think I've known anybody with that bad of a luck in, in terms of trying to get keys done, man. I think it's that, that I think it's because it's an 18s. I think people are trying to get the score for 18s to try to get to uh, what 3k score. I think that's what that's that's where they leave because they're like, okay, well, this is no longer likely to give me a score. I'm out of here, and they're just jonesing for that score. Just trying to get a little bit more scores so they can get them invited into a higher key afterwards, and then invite into a higher key, and they're just like, I'm done. Yeah, I gotta find a way to like reward you for finishing the key, like maybe like make it so that you still get a decent amount of points for finishing it, but maybe you get like a little bit more for like time in it. I don't know. This was a 19 them. It's still for a 19. That's probably score for them. And when they think, oh, okay, there's the slightest chance I don't get score out of this because we don't time it. And then they bail. It's crazy. I know it's crazy. But like, you would think with a 19, they would want to stay all the way. But like, some people won't, man. It's crazy. It's, I don't know what else to say. I don't agree with it. <laughs> but that's all I could say. King's born too. If I could have it any other way, I probably wouldn't do that. And we've seen, I mean, we stream all our keys, like whenever we do them on our alts, we've seen like some of the weirdest keys that we just stick it, stick it out through, man. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, it looks like it's just not going to go anywhere. It looks like somebody is straight up trolling or making obvious mistakes. And it's like, you know what? We'll still stick it through, through thick and thin. At least I like to stick around through keys. I guess so. Yeah, so the curse continues, man. I think you honestly have to check your bags. Maybe you picked up some curse in your bags. That's causing the issue. It's like an unlucky coin or some kind of like unlucky memento. There's gotta be like spirit of mythic plus passes haunting you or something. There's gotta be. I don't believe there isn't. Mobile Commiss won't exist at this point. Watch the wall. I'm 
もうね。This is so so sure more than a man. Hope you have a good one, my guy. How you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. Soul is out. Uh oh, this is really really bad. Uh, I'm tanking. I am tanking. I am was I was tanking. Now we're all tanking. Dead. Unforge. Big unforge, man. Plan to do was this time. Hopefully, if it on time, it actually complete. So I have done two out of eight keys for the week. Man, yeah. Honestly, maybe the problem is, maybe it's like, I don't know if, I'm not saying like anything specific here on concrete, but maybe it's just you finding people that are just trying to also get their keys out of the way on a Tuesday. Maybe like people will be more mellowed out over the weekend is I guess what I'm trying to say. Maybe you'll find a lot more mellow people over the weekend. I do you want to get your keys out of the way and try to get your, uh, I guess HTC you already got that at this point. What I'm wondering, maybe it's like saving those for the weekend might give you better groups overall. They'll be like, you know what? It looks like we're not timing this key, but we'll still finish it. See what it turns into. I usually do a lot of my, uh, alt stuff over the weekend whenever I can. Oh yeah. I still want to kill the jail again so I can get the mace. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel ya. Yeah, I feel ya. You with Casey? Huh? What do you mean by that? In the barrier? Where's my trinket? I have a hard time seeing my trinket sometimes. Looking for an icon of a sword or an axe. Spreading out. Go to green, you too. <laughs> Get a roomy too. Wow, what a buff. What a roll the bones buff. What? I didn't mean to use my drop blaze right there. Okay, I guess we're just piping this thing. Good pull us. Go a little faster than normal, I think. Maybe. Press I think four. dead. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Four. You guys are running away from each other. Green, 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 guys. Watch these stars. Oh god, these stars are just Things worn about to, to snipe ready. us. Coming now. Ooh, Spore got really, really low there for a second. I don't like that.
down a healer. Got a DPS too. Can be oh, real sketchy. sketchy. Yep. Use pods, whatever you gotta do. Oh, we're down. We brought DPS back up, but we're down a healer. Uh, uh, probably should get a healer, but it's okay. I don't know, but this season for a reason that I had more trouble than I ever did in season two. Yeah, I have no idea, man. Maybe it's like uh, I have no clue. That's actually a great, a great idea. Great question. Yeah, maybe it's something about this season. I, I, I imagine this season actually pretty easy. Like season two was pretty easy as well, but this season, like, it's just really, really easy. This season just feels so much more free, you know, you can really make a mistake and you'll be mostly fine. All coming right towards the group. Because of double legendaries, you got the tier set, I mean, that, all that ends up buffing you quite a lot. Wall? Oh, that's not good. Oh god. Wall's in a real bad spot. We had two... Killers lost. On That's not soul. good. Defensive. Uh, I don't know if we kill it. Killed it somehow. So I gotta kill a couple of these fiendish souls. Stun him. Uh, he might right, be in a bad spot. Up. Okay, we're we'll done. Take five. Take five? All right, boys, taking a break. We'll come back. We'll we'll mind up. Taking a breather. Oh, man, dude. We haven't been able to see phase two at all. Yo, I cannot wait to move on from this boss until the next one, boys. Lord of Dread apparently is like 20 pulls and Regulon is like 40. So a lot of those other bosses are going to die very, very quickly and we'll be at least moving on to like something more exciting, something more fun. But we are having to like relearn in a way. And when I feel like almost every single night. Let's talk to someone in chat. Okay, okay. About my videos? Yeah. I think I still have one more of chill pills popping off this week. He did a couple of times. I mean, I remember one time you popped off on a druid, not in the same way, but what about Mythic Jailer? So Mythic Jailer is a pretty big one. It is apparently a bit of hellish, like, grind. It's a grind. But at least, like, you know, switching up the environment and doing Lords of Dread, which is a different fight, and then doing um, Regulon, which is a different fight as well. Like, switching up a bit and getting a bit of variety, I think it's going to be big for us. Because doing Anduin over and over and wiping on Anduin over and over in P1 specifically is not super fun. But once you eventually get it, once you figure it out, we gotta get past P1 consistently so that we can see P2 and practice it. So P1, just gotta be very, very consistent on it. Just gotta do the exact same thing, make it part of muscle memory, don't change anything whatsoever. Just do the simplest, easiest tricks, don't do anything crazy. Just basically make it like a dance. And then do the same thing every single time, especially the downstairs team and the upstairs teams. Because there's little variance, especially when you're doing like the big Kingsmore mechanics and the adds and the killing and bringing people back up from there and the dudes killing as down below and all that. Then intermission, we gotta just find a way to just figure out a cleaner place to like do the bosses. We gotta be better at movement, we gotta be better at picking up the big ad immediately. Um, that's really about it. Having everybody will be alive and doing the Kingborn phases like perfectly will help a ton. Do you think macros for PvE? I have a handful. Majority of my macros for PvE content are going to be cursor macros. Like if it has any kind of AOE or reticle, like for Death and Decay, Blizzard, Grapple Hook, I'll usually use some sort of a cursor macro in order to spend less time with like, you know, hitting the key bind, then clicking where I want to go, clicking where I want to put the spell. Uh, I have some macros for like. I have a adrenaline rush, like pop cooldowns macro. I got a uh, like a let's have focus macros and stuff for PvP mostly. Um, that's really about it. Yeah, nothing crazy. 
Check your macro. I don't really have crazy macros, but then again, as an outlaw bro, I don't really think you need that many crazy macros either. I hope my new gear set is as good as it was to be. Yeah, I am really excited to see what kind of gear set you got for the duels, man. I'm really interested. I don't know if you want to like give me like a, a taste or a hint or like there's a legendary you're playing around or something. Like I would, I'm actually really interested. I don't know if that's something you can maybe reveal like a portion or just want to be complete secret. Whatever you want to do with it. I managed to pick up, uh, pick your brain and those PVE PVP ones. Yeah, sure, for sure. Usually, like, so there's multiple ways of making PVP macros. Like sometimes, like a lot of PVPers recommend making like an Arena One, Arena Two, or Arena Three target macros. So you'll have a gouge for every single target, so you don't actually ever have to target that enemy in order to hit him with a CC. So it'll basically automatically use that CC on that arena target. That's recommended, so you spend less time having to like actually like target enemies and such. For PvP though, most part, I just use focus macros, and I'll just focus in the target that I want to CC, and I'll use gouge, I... I used to use between the eyes, but that was a stun, but blind, there's a simple sap macro when I'm looking for stealthies, I have a tricks macro, I have my trinket macro in order just to be able to lob it where I'm pointing my cursor in, makes it easier for me to actually get my burst, grapple hookups will help so there a little bit as well, yeah, so things like that. Nothing too crazy. Chalanala, watch a 5 hours your Seawark, dude. Both are really, really good. Both Shield and Seawark are just absolutely monstrous. Seawark just been playing a lot more Canosphere and he just pops off on people, dude. <laughs> He'll just aim and just take heads out. <laughs> just headshots with those Canospheres, man. Like watching him delete people, dude, it's so fun. Cause the, and the, what Chilpills also did, he did it, dude. Something about them, the way that they play, the way they use their abilities and stuff, the way they position themselves. There's like an entertainment factor around it every single time, man. So for Chill Pills, like I really, really like that duel he did with a basic one v five, I think, if not a one v four. But there's a monk and there's a druid and there's a starter who's slow and then the monk kills uh, the feral druid. The monk and Chilpills are like, going back and they with each other. The monk wards behind the pillar like no health and then Chilpills just executes him with a dragon after he built up a fatty mo uh, pillar of frost. It's just so like oh my god, it's just a joy to the eyeballs, man. It was so cool to see. It's like. Awesome! It's like it's kind of like when you get somebody real low, and then the warrior, you get you get somebody to one health, you back up, you use heroic throw, and you execute them with that. Or like rogues when they used to get somebody real low, and then use throw when they had throw back then, and it would just go in, tag him, hit him for like five damage, and that'll be enough to kill him. It's just such a, such a cool effect. It's just like, ah, and then you get him. It's just like there's just something about it. It's just really really cool. And then also with Chilpins, I feel like once he ramps up, once he gets the burst damage going for the Frost DK, he just slaps. It just absolutely slaps. Moses Winter with the blind, the control of it too. Which is like something you normally expect in Death Knight to really have that much control, but you really just right. get to see it. Drop some kills at me high too. Dude, it's so exciting. It's so cool to see. Honestly, when I watch the bots, I don't really pay attention unless it's your taxi and they do. Taxi is also kind of nuts. Taxi has been playing Affliction before it was good. I think Taxi was playing Affliction back in BFA when it was struggle busting, and then he played the Affliction in Shadowlands, but it just kind of go to the beginning. The Blizzard started nerfing it. It was kind of one of mediocre, and then now it's making resurgence with the drain build and the red. It's so good. He hasn't given up, and now he's like able to put load up dots and full everything, and then pop away, and then the dots just rot people. So he has the burst for dots. He has the big drain. He has the healing with drain. It is so awesome just watching him. Like, oh, you don't really know if he's gonna die, if he's gonna win. Big drain. Now he changes around. It just it's like for a for a dot class, he can be sometimes really really bursty, and sometimes he can just turn around like a losing fa situation into a winning factor for him. I wish that you would do those. Dude, I, I, the more people the merrier, honestly. I would love to have a lot more people that are like have like a, a presence, a stream presence or whatever, join these, man. They're more than welcome to. We had Volts join these. Uh, Voltsy joined them. I would love for Rexjoy one day to join them. Somebody said they would want to get him in on that. They have a matter of real ID. Uh, Soulscape's been on them as well. I don't know if you watch Soul, but he does a lot of world PvP. Soulscape been on these a couple of times. Snoopy, we had Snoopy join these a couple of times. We've known Snoopy before yeah, he really started like blowing up a Twitch too. So I've been always a fan of watching Snoopy come in. He doesn't join these too often. I think he usually plays with his community. Just real quick, but he'll join in, he'll go in, and it'll just pop off. Red and check, uh, again, the reference diagram for 
clear sets and positioning in phase three? Uh, what? What did he say, chat? I didn't pay attention. So Little Lion example, King. If you're looking at this. Oh, I've hopelessness. Okay. Stricken pasta on set one. Anduin will be tanked for that first hopelessness, like Irish. I'm jumping up and down by Jaina. So I'll be in so set if four. You're in set one clear after that. Anduin would move basically over where Green is. Set one would be strict running into the middle. And pasta, you would be out here on the edge from jumping to catch his. So we do like phase three with a hopelessness throw. Same thing for There's like a hopelessness where you like toss it out and somebody needs to round, catch it. So it would be set be one like is here, here and then it'll shoot out and people gotta catch it. Then the hopelessness set two is gonna be two. The hopelessness set is Anybody gonna be three. And works? then I'm gonna be hopelessness set four where it looks like Nick is gonna be running and I'm gonna be catching it. And it's Swifty and Dal collab. Last time me and Swifty did a collab, it wasn't like a collab you wanted to do. It was like me yeah, and Tirga, a buddy of mine. We were both uh, playing in WAD, After right? All those are done, and uh, Swifty was doing like 1v2 prop warrior gladiator stands, or actually maybe yeah, defense stands. And I decided to kind of force it into 1v1 instead of 1v2. So, and then I kind of said, I went behind the pillar and ate some food to recuperate. And, uh, Try to basically make it as much of a one to one as I could, and I took a screenshot, and but it's kind of toxic when you think about it. It's actually kind of tox. I just realized my mic. But yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I have a question. There's a snap pick, and people so were really, really mad at me, and I barely like got banned with this chat, and I've been banned in the streams the since the then. It was a while ago, way back in WAD. No, it's sort of but the same yeah. thing. So in this one. <laughs> Group one. I probably could have done it differently. I probably could have maybe made it a little more of a, a proper 1v1. One one. Well, it was a 1v1 one actually. Two. Was eating food it's in arena not allowed? I guess bandages are allowed. Four, and then there's right? this food that was like a toy three, back in WAD was six. added. It was basically group like normal four, seven, food. Eight, and group five, it didn't nine, give you a buff, ten. but it gave you like Got a it. healing. And you could sit down behind like a uh, pillar and just eat up. I never carried any like arena food, so but that thing would let you eat. So basically, I popped off and switched to try to go watch out my cooldowns, but it's a tank, so I was like, okay. Someone was like, all right, yep. I got as many cooldowns as so I could, back up, heal up, eat up, go back and stun him again. Bob, Billy, toxic, dude, definitely, 100%. Nick, 100%. Blaine, Daz, and then I think the one he won wasn't toxic. I think the one he won was not toxic. I think what was toxic is because I took a screenshot of it afterwards in the picture. At the end of it. When they added the selfie cam. I can fix that for you guys. I'm getting a little bit. The name has husband was asking Nora, I told him to yeah, duel during the stream and his whole chat was telling him to duel me, but he refused because he checked my rating yeah, was like so only 2k. Name, so again, Bro, an update and edit that, that just seems like BM. Only just, 2k. Sorry, go ahead. Only 2k. I don't know, dude. I don't know, bud. Does it just go straight up there? You, no, you. you I'm sure you were just trying to show off in the chat, that's all. To answer a question, Dad checked and says uh, it was week 12 of season 3, so we're in 3 months into season 3. So you're telling me we got about 5 more months of this? Or 4 more? Damn. Week 12 of season 3, so we got a lot more weeks to go then, huh? Most likely. Hopefully, we get 9 to 5 really early. The earlier yeah. we get 9 to 5, the better. And hopefully, we'll get to start seeing some alpha for Dragonflight and all some that info. We'll have to hopefully, do King. DPS push is bad, but Man, I didn't realize we were only like two months into it. And if we don't have the immune, that's for crazy. The second, honestly, we can just move you Week 12, season 3. Well, we got a long time ago to go then. So, we got basically double this. Hopefully, they'll make this season 3 look only six months, man. Hopefully, we're like, we're like at the halfway point. And we're just going to be hitting the other halfway point with 9 to 5. I'm hoping they announce it for like tomorrow, man. Maybe they'll make an announcement tomorrow and be like, hey, yo, next week, 9 to 5, get ready, boys. I'd be so happy. All right, chat. Let's hope, hopefully, we can uh, cruise our way into P2. Like, none of this fight is really all that interesting or crazy here. Just gotta play it very, very consistently and keep piping Andy. At least I'm getting to play my favorite spec, man. I get me wrong. Subtlety was actually pretty fun for this fight. But like this or sub, I enjoy this a lot more. Ugh. Both of the takes are dead. Sorry, <laughs> you go again. I'm go for a <laughs> so every time you tell us to get in the barrier, do you think about me now? Oh no. Yes. They're just like tagged each other. <laughs> I think they were next to each other and I think they had the same buff. 
and they killed each other. And I guess it was a one shot and Perg tried to save him, but no. Clutch a kick down. Dude, I'm still so sad that we couldn't clutch that one chilled. I thought we could, man. I was trying my hardest. I was trying my hardest, man. I was spending all my Maelstrom rotating my cooldowns. <laughs> Take evasion on Outlaw CD reset. True, true. True. I just need to, you know, equip a... Uh, <laughs> float like a butterfly in a, in a, in a raid. No good. Good evening. What's up, Laura? How you doing, fam? You're coming in late tonight, huh? What's up, Ricardo? I do my guy. Hope you're having a good one. How you doing, Laura? Good morning, I guess, where you're at in the EU. What are you doing up so late? We're still in Andy. We're still in hell. I'm I'm so ready, Laura, for Lords of Dread, like a 20 pool boss, or Regulon, and the blue dark room. Like we've been in this bright room with Anduin for way too long, man. I my eyes need a break. I need a darker room, a darker environment, like a dim yellow bronze kind of look of the of the, the Lords of Dread room, or dark blue, dark mode. Regulon is gonna be so nice. Yeah, I was just too far away to get there. Back in Kara, I was sub on my uh, rogue and on the boss. I tanked him for 4%. Dude, as a rogue, yeah. Back in those days, you actually could evasion and like hope for the best. You just pray. Unfortunately, assignments kept me up all night. But I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm glad you're doing okay. Yeah, definitely get some sleep whenever you can. Hopefully, you don't get too much uh, workload Looking in the long term. Bro, yeah, I would say it's a safe bed. The room won't be getting season 4 until August, September. Yeah, it's going to be a bit. It's going to be a bit. I think from the uh, current rumors and people trying to, like, hypothesize when the next expansion could be, it looks like it's going to be probably March or April of uh, 2023. So we're going to be in this expansion for quite a while, but at least they're doing season 4 stuff. In the barrier. The best I think they can do in this situation, though, is hopefully they can maybe shorten season three a little bit, right? Maybe we can shorten right. season three just a little. Hey, mm. oh, yeah, that could have been really bad. It's warm line. That Outlaw is performing. Yeah, it's one of the lowest performing on the uh, wow, wow head. It is. I saw. It's a little sad, and I'm hoping that we get we get buffed. That is based on logs, though. So it is based on people playing the spec, and not a lot of people are playing out because they want to. Honestly, I'm playing the spec because I feel like it's actually more effective than the subtlety for this boss fight, and I can explain you why if you give me to a bitter. Uh, I got it pulled out a little early, but uh, we got really early. Davis, I don't keep it up. Let's go. Yep. Stop okay. with that stuff, guys. We got it to see this week, which is hype. Let's go. Time for Definitely Mythic Zymox prog now. Oh, yeah. Time to start progging the boss. Older. But let's try and stay focused and let's get deeper in. Do, 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 do. I saw it was like top four last week. What happened? I think it's maybe less people are playing the spec in terms of the logs. And less people are giving us back an attempt. I think it's because maybe like more players are trying assassination and trying to see how well that could work. Or maybe they tried out or last week or like, well, they got buffed recently, so let's give it a go. And now that, you know, it's like, okay, well, it doesn't seem like it does much more damage. Okay, I tried it. <laughs> back to back to what I was playing earlier. It could also be the number of people that are progging these fights too. Like if they do some crazy good nerfs, crazy big nerfs for a lot of these boss fights, we'll likely see more outer rogues or presentation, uh, outer position go up towards the later bosses as well. Because they're also taking like what? I think they were on WoW had taken like overall, but you also got to take a look at like bosses individually, where which spec fits. On boss damage, we're kind of okay for a bit. But I don't really know if there's more outlaws or less outlaws in some of the later bosses, which I think might be skewing a lot of their representation. Like, as more uh, more guilds are getting into the uh, end game bosses, they're playing more of the meta specs or what everybody else played. That might be an issue. What did you say? DK's group ended on the platform. Kind of rookie mistake. I know, right? 
Like they tried, but they can't do it, you know? They just, their death grip isn't leveled enough. Sorry. Like They're saying now they're only three months into the season three. Oh, is it shortened that we'll get three to five months tops? I mean, I honestly think that should be like, if they can make it six months or like five months, I'd be okay with. And make like season four a short four months. That'd be fantastic. I could get these props during combat. That'd be awesome. I'd be okay if they maybe shorten season three and then extend it for a little bit longer. Because I think four could at least yeah, be kind of fun, but we'll see what they do. I'm ready. I'm ready. I just want to be able to not get bored of the content, King. Not too early. That's all I want, man. I just want to have new content to do. New content to work on. Or if they could like start putting out Dragonflight Alpha while we're waiting for season four and get, send out more keys than usual, send out more people in invite to test stuff. I think that'd be fantastic. Cause then it will oh, give yes, us like yes, something yes. to do. We'll be testing the new expansion, trying new classes, right, trying new things, check. all that. Can I get my food buff before? Yes, I can. Let's go. Cross faction guilds. I saw it's a bug in PTR. Yeah, I don't. So they were able to cheese to bug it by going into an instance and having people sign a charter. And then the person that leaves that instance can go out into their faction and invite people to that guild. So I don't think it's a leak. I think it's just um, it's an unintended consequence, which I'll, I wonder if they'll fix or we'll just keep because they know that people are excited to play cross faction guilds. They know that people want to see cross faction guilds. I think they, they said themselves they're just being cautious about it, and it's like if they just enable it, they won't be able to disable it. So it's one of those things. It's like it's a permanent feature. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Keep Almost missed one. it. Almost missed it there. That could be bad. I'm gonna clog this. I might feel like I don't have to, but I'm feeling a little bit more under threat. Pimples. Did you see that kind of leak? Might be coming to Dragonflight? Yeah, it probably was gonna be available in Dragonflight. I think the idea I think the idea is the original wanted to be like a feature. It's like cross faction is kinda of like partially a Dragonflight feature. And then they're gonna be like, okay, so in, in Shadowlands we got cross faction. In Sha in Dragonflight, you got cross faction guilds. I think they were basically trying to make it like a, a, a big feature reveal. But they know, like they've, they've been told so much, like people want to see cross-faction guilds. Just want to be able Kings. to hang out with our homies in a guild. Cause there's like no point of doing like guilds that are non-cross-faction at that point. Like guilds be guilds. They are gonna want to be in the guilds with Hall of Fame or whatever. Like, being able to just have your homies as part of the same guild would be nice. I wonder if they'll disable that feature, though, because it's not technically a feature, it's like a bug that causes, that allows people to be able to Start be part of the same guild. Break us up. Hit it, punch. Whirl it. Away. We lose out one. Oh, whoa, oh, 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 you got it. Nice. Okay, they're all dead. Let's That's a wipe. Again. Of a deal where we're gonna drag a flight alpha. We won't really have an idea of when. Uh, no, I don't think 9 to 5 will give us an idea about Dragonflight. I think uh, Dragonflight Alpha will give us an idea about Dragonflight Alpha, which sounds counterproductive. It doesn't really sound like it makes any sense. I don't think a release date of 9 to 5. I just don't know what about 9 to 5 that we may see. Unless there's some kind of like a story quest line that hints and takes us into the next expansion and maybe we start seeing like a weekly quest line for it. And then we data mine more of those quests and see exactly when they end, then maybe we might be able to get an idea. Maybe when 9 to 5 comes out and people data mine more out of it, then we may be able to get more information like maybe pre-order bonuses and a release, a potential release date hints or something. Maybe that. Gonna grab some Z's. Thanks for the stream, Dow. See you next time. Good luck and take care. Thanks so much for coming by, Tony. Appreciate you, my man. You get yourself good sleep, my guy, you know? Get yourself good sleep, my man.
So when you place the toy, I think someone placed the toy there for a sec. Let's go do. And then it's Orb of Deception. There was another toy we combined with it before. Almost. Good. I forget which one it was. I don't see it. I used to combine another toy with this. I don't remember which one though. But it could be a Void Elf. It's kind of cool. I wish I could find a way to like chain myself so I could see what a Draenei Rogue would look like. Or if I could somehow use a toy to become a Gnome. And then use the Orb of Deception to become a Tauren. That it could be look like a Tauren Rogue. That would look cool. Look even better. And the Baron? Like with Marmog and everything. Spread it. Is Wild Max 60? Yeah, Max level right now in the game is 60, yes. Whether it's retail or uh, original vanilla vanilla classic. Uh, hey, friend. Come here. Music, hello. One, one. Here we go. Yeah, why was the uh, max level 60? At least for the time being, until Dragonflight, and then it's gonna be 70. It's gonna be a little different. Don't pull early, don't pull early. Okay, pull, pull, pull. I want to make sure they didn't pull early. What? I didn't die. Look at that. Can't pull us up early. Yeah, I gotta stop damage. I thought I heard somebody say pull, pull, pull. That's not a good way to wait. I mean, Am I dumb? That thing was basically dead. No, it's, no, it's not. I'll, I'll, I'll post it on Discord. Wait, he actually is using Succubus. That's a pain. Wait, does Succubus actually do a lot of damn? Succubus actually is doing some damn. Does Succubus debuff the boss? That's hard to tell. So, Swork? Not Swork, but boss, Lucy, have been using Succubus. Or rather, a, 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 a Shibara. In order to DPS the boss. I wonder if there's a reason for it. Because he's in Fireball. So... Pupfip is doing 69.9 okay, well, DK well, DPS. Anyway. 55 and 51. I mean, Actually doing more damage. Wait, what? Is the second is better? Second is like your uh, C or something I read. Wait, that's actually kind of nuts. So I know that Succubus has a stacking buff that he can provide, but only if he can slow enemies. Certain bosses cannot be slowed. But that's kind of cool, actually, if Succubus can do this pure single target. That's actually kind of neat. So, like, the Imp is just the easier mob who can just cast from afar if movement is a problem. Succubus can be the proper single target. That's what I think originally the one for Succubus to be. But, like, 915 or 92. 9.2? Either 915 or 9.2. Whenever they added, like, the new better Succubus. Not the Incubus, but like the Succubus that has like the mind control walk to me sedu seduce instead of like stand still catatonic the seduce. But it also has this other ability where there was just like a oh, shadow whip. I think I guess Lash of Pain. Yeah. It's supposed to put a debuff on the enemy target as well. I wonder if the boss actually has a stacking debuff because that will make the Succubus do like up to 10%, if it gets 10 stacks, 10 lashes, up to 10% more physical damage to the mob. Yeah, it's all your... I guess to the boss. Uh, but I think it only works if it can slow a mob. So I don't think on training dummies it works. 
But maybe it works on actual bosses. Really I gotta try it myself, so man. I gotta try it at some point. That's cool, yeah, though. That's what, I like how they, they like, I, I, I really like the idea of like giving pets certain like roles and tools and utilities and like certain pets are good in certain situations. Gives you a reason to play everything, anything besides an imp. Kind of like how in Legion they kind of gave a little bit more value through your artifact weapon to like. The Fell Hunter as an Affliction Warlock, you know, the Destruction had the, uh, the Fell Guard. And this, no, Demonology had the Fell Guard. And the Destruction had the AM that did more damage. Spread out? Except the creation issues in PvE and PvP. I feel like my AoE did nothing. I feel like there's literally just warlocks piping those asses now. I'm trying to do a little bit more AoE. But by the time we got a blade flurry, everything was dead. <laughs> this is my spec, man. Uh, tank is dead or no? I'm blind. Kings more than two, get ready. After this ball, we're gonna see how my damage is doing so far. Help. Nice, we're all alive, clean, we got all the percent. Good. So now we can practice speed 2 properly. As long as we survive intermission, we should be okay. And as long as we have cooldowns, we shouldn't have any issues surviving. It's just one of those fights, man, where you can't really make a mistake. You have to play it perfectly. You have to play it clean. Top of the wall. I was gonna say for a second, is it gonna die? Chop at this wall. Wall. New ads are out. Big guy's out. I'm just gonna focus him. Pop evasion in case things really go sour. Hopefully we don't get a bad wall either. Kill him, please. Please kill him. Please finish him. Ugh, you did it. Nice. That would be kind of insane for this fight. If Blizzard somehow managed to keep the hell off of the fast out. I know, right? Yo, they could just be on Captain AoE. That would be amazing. Or just give us a... What, what is it called? Push. Good job. The one buff. I forgot to call it now. I want to see if I can stun this guy. Give me a boss. Nice.
Keep your boss. Keep woods about you. Yeah, keep woods is pretty good. Yeah, keep woods was incredible. Keep your woods was good. So was uh, what else? What else? I'm thinking of. Um. Ah, that's silence. Oh, we're maybe okay. Oh no, we're dead. Yeah. Nah, I just gotta do, make sure you don't survive the terror. To make sure you don't survive it once you get a fear. Ah oh, man. That was interrupt two, which would be his O. Yeah. Um Mob to interrupt to Izzo Orc the me. I feel like landing kicks on those things pretty hard. I I'm thinking of the uh, <laughs> blood of the enemy. That's what I'm thinking of. Uncap blade flurry. Uncap. Um, yeah, uncap AOE we damage where, where and blood of the here. enemy. And just get all those mobs together and just start slashing and dashing. That's what I was thinking. Rogue raiding lol. I know, right? He doesn't kick on. Yeah, rogues and raids are a little bit kind of, kind of, kind of yikes right now. Last year we were really good. Last year we were pretty good. Tier before that we were actually kind of good. Current tier where, unless you are a destruction warlock or a survival hunter, maybe like a frost DK, you're basically useless. <laughs> That's just how it be sometimes, though, Zen. Is this the tier, man? You have to take what we got, dude. I was, actually, I was asking my GM, like, maybe I should bring my survival hunter. I'm gonna talk to him, I, hopefully, tomorrow about it. Be like, yo, I, should I just, like, like, I got trinkets, I got my hunter, I got gear, I can play survival just fine. I have experience with this spec. Should I just bring survival for this fight? Because I feel like I'll be more effective that way. I'll be squishier. But I'll be more effective, and I can just maybe grind out the renown on. Um, and then if you do have to like, save maybe grind out the renown on, on Night Fame. Do you know if Night Circle Talent works with the dots? If you vanish the Assassin's Rogue, I think it buffs your dots. I think what it will do is your first. So like when you vanish, your first rupture will be buffed by that dot. Why you send stealth? I think your damage is buffed by the dots as well. Um, I think your Garrote. I think it's also buffed. I think whatever your first ability is while you're in the state, it will snapshot to it. Yeah. I remember you used to go for Vanish Rupture. I'm doing good, Devin. How about you, my man? Hope you're having a good one. I'm doing great. Besides being on Anduin for like almost 300 pulls now, I'm doing fantastic. I, I'm not... I'm over this boss at this point. I just want to see P2. I don't want to do clean P2. That's like the only part that excites me at this point. P1 is way too long. Way too long. I feel like if maybe they change Anduin so he only does Kings of Morn once. And then just phases himself into the intermission quicker. And then you stay in intermission for a little bit longer. They'll use for would take the nine slot. Here. He would be he would be interior nine, so running into the middle. So it would be exterior nine kitchen. Oh you think? So if I put my dots on the advantage, I, get, uh, I don't get a 50% knocked out. I think your dots are amped by 50% while you're in stealth. But as soon as you come out of stealth, I think they lose that. And only one dot can snapshot. So like, if you want to load somebody full of dots and then like sit and sit and vanish with a 50% damage buff, I think you could, and your dots will tick out 50% harder while you're in stealth. If that's what you're asking. Like, Barrier? can you do some cheesy PvP stuff? Probably. I think that's how it used to work. Spread it. Best of something like it makes us the dots could have vanished. Are you trying to go for like a big dot cheese with vanish? I mean, maybe, right? Maybe. I haven't tried it myself, but I believe it should work like that. Only one way to find out, right? When you load up dots and you vanish, do your dots hit harder. Where it's a normal. And you can literally hit a train dummy, see for yourself. I need to go ahead and train dummy myself to find out. That's the case, not the same. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be very fun. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, the, oh, I'm backing up. Yo, you guys. Yep. Yeah, you. You. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You guys couldn't have your space. I'm just gonna back the hell up. Work is dead unless he lives. Did we arrest somebody? I think we did. But you could probably do some crazy big dot damage. Together with your vendetta too, that'd be pretty good. Yeah. Oh. Back up for a sec. Gonna heal. Ready. Cool. Res. We don't. Not for a while. I guess we burned one. Us. You get tricked. Maybe I'll try the build, Devon. Maybe I'll give it a go. That could be maybe really, really fun and really cheesy. They didn't have the tier set recently for a sass, so you don't take it out as quickly, but it still could be really, really effective. Let's see if you're saying with it. And my dots have vanished? Yeah, I put all the dots the biggest damn possible. Just vanish in the AFK. On interrupt three. Just let the crits one, melt somebody. Three. And interrupt two, add four. Hundred percent extra damage to the wall play on the side. <laughs> for real, for real, for real. Abs coming. Yeah, that could be really fun. Cause that could be next level cheesy. Rogue just pops up, loads you up full of dots, runs away in south and just sits there while you melt. No way for you to retaliate. That'd be the most frustrating thing ever. We got it, apparently. I didn't think we would. Okay, we're down a few few bodies, but I think we should be okay. Okay, I want to take a look at the CC chart. Some third on this. Someone get first on the next up. Don't break the final ad, but make sure we go king down there for Kingsborn. Shrek dead. Yeah. So white Baruski. Unfortunate. Temple. Yeah, especially with the tier. They did nerf it, so it's like only 50% is effective in PvP. It's not 100% effective, but still really, really good. I wonder if you'd run Exsanguine for it. I guess if you really want to max out your dot damage, you would run... Would you mark for death? I guess you would mark for death in order to make it easier, right? You would open up, make sure you got a fatty Garot. Actually, you wouldn't be able to get a fat Garot, would you? Just a normal Garot. But you would open up of the bat. And you would load up your dots. I guess mutilate, mutilate, rupture, garrote, sep uh, mark for death, kidney, sepsis, and then vanish, and then AFK. And then just chill there. <laughs> With a vendetta. Vendetta, trinket, vanish. Vendetta, no, trinket, vendetta, sepsis, and then vanish. And then let it do the dots do the work. Would you exsanguinate maybe? I mean, you probably could exsanguinate, right? Or would you build up for the haze buff instead so you get more ticks? I don't even know. I wonder. Is it worth the global? Do you feel like... I don't know. You want to kind of like load up your dots, vanish, and run away. And by the time they realize what's going on, like, they melt. I don't know. Maybe you would exsanguinate. Without stack. I think exsanguinate with tier set, yes, it stacks. 
It shouldn't. I feel like it shouldn't. It's way too quick, but it stacks. Yeah, that's what allows it to be used super fast, speedy bursts whenever you use the ability. It's kind of nuts. It's crazy. It's crazy good. Not 100% though, because normally it would be 200% yes, but the maintenance of the tier set, the speed at which it picks up your dots in PvE, like dungeons rates, it is 100%. In PvP, it's half as effective, so it's 50%. So you won't be able to get 200%, you get 150 with Xang. Only 50. But it's still pretty quick. I mean, it's still fast. You just still spend a global for it, though. I just, I'm wondering if it's worth the global. Or is it worth just to go? Just, just, just go and vanish. And get out of there. Get out of there, rascal. I don't know. It's something I wouldn't just mess around with a test out. I think it'd be hilarious, though. Better? If it works. That's on the premise if Night Stalker works. Because if it works, then yes, this is guaranteed, dude. This is a guaranteed cheese. Spread it. Spruce, spread it. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I get a quick, uh, quick cleanse. A quick cleanse of Ruski. Kingsborn 1. Hitting wrong target, please. I keep clicking on wrong target. All of a sudden, my hands get in the jitters. Dude, I love how Rogue's got the 100% crit legendary for Shadowlands, man. It is literally the most broken legendary I've ever seen. I don't think there's a legendary more broken than that. Literally every broken Rogue build always utilizes the 100% crit Lego. No matter where, what you do. PvE content, PvP content. If you want the biggest cheese possible, just 100% crit. It's just super effective. It's so good. Guaranteed crits just makes you really, really good. Uh oh, no stuff. No stun. That's unfortunate. unfortunate. Those things are I, almost dead too. I didn't even see who's that Damn. was in the weak aura. Do 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 What's up, Troy? Does the range stun for the third person? Do 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 yeah. yeah, if you're the second person, it's done before you leave for blasphemy. So that it procs for them to know. Yeah. Even if it's not time to stun them, just stun them. They won't hurt you. Yeah. Wait. Blasphemy stun is not on DR chat, right? Or is it? Or Infernal stun DR? I don't think it is, right? I don't think I've ever seen a DR. I think it literally is on its own DR. Maybe it counts as a disorient, like its own disorient. Maybe it's like a knockdown. What I've been doing is cheap shot, go rote, rupture. Sepsis, vendetta, mutilate, cheap shot, vanish, go rote. Wait, hold on. Cheap shot, go rote, rupture. Sepsis, vendetta, mutilate. When do you get the cheap shot? I guess you vanish, cheap shot? Cheap shot, vanish? Oh, you kidnap shot, vanish, go rote, or venom. Okay, if you mean uh, if you mean kidney shot, then yeah, I can see that. Cheap shot. Okay, that might be the. In my brain, it didn't really make sense, but when you replace it. Okay. So that's part of the burst. So if you're second like kid, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I guess if you want to get cheesy, what I would probably do is like you would go road. I actually open with a mutilate because there's like no point of like opening up a mutilate. Build full comp points, a couple of mutilates, maybe two. 
go road. Throw him in a either kidney shot or a rupture. Which one does more dot damage? I think rupture, right? Then you can maybe kidney shot him, then mark for death rupture. Then that accepts his vanish and then just like AFK and literally sit in stealth and watch him melt. If you want to be cheesy. You want to like make sure that they're dead. I guess you would vanish and venom while your dots are rolling. But then that Invenom will hit for 50% more damage, but then you're not watching your dots hit 50% harder. If that makes any In sense. But it's also, I don't think it's going to be 50% damage increase. I'm pretty sure Blizzard nerfed it at some point. I won't be surprised if they did. For Mark. <gasps> Go to green. I killed him. Oh, he died. I killed him. Goodbye. I killed him. Rest in peace, my brother. I think it was my fault. We go again. What'd you do, Dale? So I blade rushed past him, and blade rushed like as a, like a charge. So it was like in a circle for a second, and I guess the game counted him as like touching me, but it didn't count me touching him. It's the same thing as the blink click I said last time. Yeah. If you don't have a circle and you blink or, like, go behind and you go through somebody, it's going to kill a person with a circle, but not you. Word. I didn't think it would work for Blade Rush. I was thinking I was going to be dead. Well, if anything, we we're very, very creative at finding ways to wipe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of it. I am. Oh, I'm so sorry, King. Happened again. Wiped them trash pack into way. The second boss in DOS. And then it became clear we would not time mage ups and leaves. Man. I'm sorry about that, King, man. I'm sorry about that. It's just been. It's been unlucky for a couple of weeks, man. I mean, I don't know. I know you're trying to go for like 3k, but if you're just trying to get your weeklies done, maybe like doing them on a 15 warlocks, aren't you? might be faster, yeah? Just start with me, please! I'm thinking there could be, there have not been many fights in like 17 years of World of Warcraft that have had more unique and interesting ways for me to want to pull my hair out than this one. I'm also ready. All right, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with my blood rushes from now on. The moons, are you ready, my dude? Because I killed Raladin, man. I killed this guy. He did nothing. I didn't hear. <laughs> I didn't hear anything about it. Yeah, well, Jailer, you know. I gotta figure I gotta out how people to play Marauds. Apparently, a lot of people play Maraud. Yeah, King, if you maybe drop the keys down to like a 15, I think maybe people would be less likely to leave because people are less worried about scoring and more worried about getting the weeklies done. Or maybe less, uh... Me and Stabos got slapped. I'll start that shit now. Okay. Keep it up. This paladin is in a weird, weird spot. I have we to be have an extra careful of him. We to deal with blasphemies now, so take your time. I think me and Stab both just kind of ran in towards the boss a little early. Raladin kind of was... It looked like he was kind of moved a little to the left, a little to the right. He's definitely duck, like, jerking all over the place on the other screen, too. Sometimes, yeah. Like the MC bug from PvP. Damn. I'm just gonna have to be very, very careful. I'm just gonna have to be very, very careful because that pollen is hanging out in the center. And if he gets the blue buff, it blends in with the ground. And I wanna charge towards the boss immediately. 
I kept trying to back up to go to my boomkin, and then I want to charge back in because normally nobody's there, but now they've got a different composition. We have the paladin chilling there, so that's plus one extra melee. So I either need to stay in melee and help out, you know, do the soak with the pallet just so both of us are safe, or I gotta soak with the demon hunter. So I think I'll just start staying in melee, and I think staff can do his stuff just fine. Yeah, definitely can do better though. Good luck with the raid, Dal. Gonna try to get some sleep. Hope you kill the damn boss. Hopefully, we'll get some progression, Laura. If anything, hopefully, we'll get some progression and see a proper P3. Or at least just P2 intermission. Or at least get pretty close to that. Get our CC down. Thanks so much for popping in, fam. I appreciate you. Hope you have yourself a wonderful evening. By the way, boys, thank you all so much for hanging out, man. Especially those in the EU. I really do appreciate you, man. I know I do these uh, raid streams very, very late. It's not like, those don't really feel like official streams, just me hanging out with the boys. I'm raiding anyway, I'm just popping the stream on. I don't really think of them like a real stream in a way. I'm the bear. Just me hanging out with the, with the dudes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hanging out with everybody else. Spread out for marks. Spread. So I'm not gonna go far. Stack. Okay, well, I'm gonna back up. Okay, Paladin at least got out of the way. Tank, tank. Okay. He's more one. It looks like he's having to. He's trying to adjust and trying to learn this fight properly. It looks like he's not super comfortable with it yet, though. So just putting Chi Death and cooldown, no problem, no biggie. Get in the barrier. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love you, daddy. Oh, huh? no need to fuck. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I think we can get support touch, oh, oh. we'll be okay. Oh. I think we might have one solo. Or not? Okay, I think we're okay. I think we pulled super up. I was thinking we have one person down on the floor, so I was wondering how the blasphemies are gonna go, but you got like yellow circles and purple circles? Who's gonna give a circle? Hi. Hi. Howdy. Thank God. We could hear you the whole time. I couldn't hear you guys. I left that Oh, I heard that. Gross. <laughs> Alright, clean intermission, just focus down the mobs. Please. Monstrosity, finish it. Does Lich can parry from the front? Like, should I really be very, very careful wall. about making sure I'm not in front of him? Or I'm not sure how should it be about it. Like just kind of finding the safe spot and just parking my way there. Well, just parking my bottom, just chilling here. There, maybe that's how I should be doing it. Oh, remember, big soul is priority. Defensive. He almost got his cast out too. I like all the ads. They're kind of low on health. Not, but not dead. Okay, they're dead. They're dead. There's CCs here. 
All right, chat. Actual practice here. Trying to pipe these ads as fast as we can. Nuking the ads every single time. Give me the boss. Oh, almost did not get that stun. That was clutching it. No boss. A little bit too fast. Oh, that's a lot of CC. Hopefully, they got the kicks. All right, let's start killing these ads. I'm gonna evade on this guy. Shift that guy. He's not moving anywhere. Yeah, get us out. Pull us. Well, watch out. Is it a healer one? Just keep going. Just keep going. So we missed one of the mobs. CC's guys, get the. Middle. I really don't want to play Flurry this. What is it? Ah, uh, the star positions were really, really bad. Damn, big on Forge. Uh, but again, uh, I get where you're coming from, but it would be way easier, quicker to just a few teams, six teams, But I want to get my uh, up while doing my weekly keys. So I'll try to get my keys to reach to 20 to get 3k while doing weekly. I get it totally. I totally get it, King. Yeah, I'm. I was just saying, like, if you were like focusing on trying to get your, uh, trying to get your keys out of the way, that's the only suggestion I have. But man, it's tough out there. I heard that 18, like 18 and 19 keys, is like a big old rat league. People will leave at the slightest sight of trouble. And like a 20s and above, like this is where people that are actually want to push score, like they'll actually give it a solid attempt. And like the caliber of players improves. It's very similar to PvP. I remember like way back in the day, it was a rule that people told me like at 1800 and get into like 2 deck 2k, the higher you climb, it becomes more and more of a rat league. People would just like be very, very finicky. One loss and they'll leave immediately. And people will be very, very toxic to each other. Players are playing like very, very... They're not playing cleanly. Nobody plays cleanly as you get into towards like 1800, 1900, 1950. And then once you get into that 2k, once you break into that bracket, games become clean. Like players that are playing that bracket at above at the time, that's like what mop at the time, would play a lot cleaner. The games were a lot more um, easier to read. Because then they were playing with purpose. They weren't playing like just trying to throw cooldowns at one another and they're just hoping for the win. They're actually playing with purpose. And then you would be able to like adjust and adapt and it was pretty cool. I enjoyed the idea behind it. I got a speed run on my shard. And I think I that's what off. maybe like uh Mythic Plus keys are very, very similar. Everybody's trying to get up to that 3k score, so everybody like slowly, slowly climbing towards that. And as soon as the side of trouble, as soon as something smells like rotten cheese, like they're out. They're dipping. That's why I never do like my keys on my main rogue. I usually do it with guildies, man. Or at least I try to. And every time people ask me like, hey, how do you find keys? I always tell people like, dude, literally it's, it's a lot easier. Hugging is one thing, but if you can somehow achieve this, getting into a guild, even like a kind of casual guild and pushing with them is so much more enjoyable. Not even like it'll be better, it'll be easier, but it'll be enjoyable. It'll be like an enjoyable journey. Oh god. Where's the gold? King's more. There we go. Looks like, like all the purple buffs were basically in one spot all at once.
It's mobs get blasted by these hunters. These warlocks. Get ready. One, two. Was it a cloak? Say like I was just dying to a dot. I want to melt just like that without doing nothing, without doing anything. Up. They get melee by the guy down below? Is that what happened? You get neck up. They're just piping that thing? It must be right. That or Spork is down there and pick it up very, very uh, bit of just the smallest amount of aggro on that ad, just enough to hold it. Maybe the what's going on. All right, chat. Clean intermission. Please give us good walls. Lizard gods and lizard, we ask you, please give us good walls. Good and dirty spaghetti walls. I just used the wand on him. Uh, if you're baiting, please don't walk in. For my cash. They hit him for 300k. Crit. It's actually kind of cool. Oh, this wall is a little rough. It ends. Okay, those walls are not that bad. You can do this. It doesn't look like the monstrosity at least can parry. I don't think I've ever gotten parried by him before. What is that? Uh, Stock, you need to be baiting, bro. Close. We're out here baiting. Oh, bro, I, I had aggro. I felt, dude. Okay. The ads are gonna have to die. Do we have any more ads? I think we're clean. Chat, actually, I think we actually did a really, really clean. Let's go. 51, that's exactly what we wanna see. That's exactly what we wanna see out of the boss. Alright, get your CCs. We're gonna kill the ads. Best we can. Move to next. Move to next. That was clutch. That Need was close. Get teams worn on the next one. Teams worn one. No kicks, no kicks, no kicks. Just let him do the kicks and silences. Okay. Make sure that I'm gonna get slapped by the boss or the mini boss. God. You should barrier, watch these stars. These Get stars are already sketch. Barrier, 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 barrier. Get in it. Good. Killing diamond here. Alright. Back to the regular boys. Back to DPS in. One, two. Nice. Kicked it, but I don't really know if that was a play. 
Oh, he can just spam it, I guess. I guess he can just spam it. Oh. Oh god, they have nothing. Oh no. So do we just CC that ad or what? I'm not need, sure. Like, big dam on that from reflection top three. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like we gotta keep hitting that thing. But it looks like a lot of us just kind of stopped attacking it. Man. Sorry, if I if is it too tight if you're dropping barrier in middle to get the. First set of CCs on green. So we like need a single target on thing. I guess maybe the castles need to do it. Damn. So we have down there. We have Jash, we have Euro, we have me, we have Billy, we have Kamein, we have Supa. So we don't really have a lot of like pure single target classes. A lot of them have great cleave. A lot of him, a lot of cleaves. Trying to make his life easier there. Fourth kick would have been what Dow there. Maybe it was even the fifth because I think there was an interrupt after mine as well, but we don't have a fifth assigned. Yeah, that thing basically didn't get touched by our DPS. What'd you say, sir? I, I was just asking if it was difficult for you to get your stun and interrupt on green there. With moving barrier in the middle. I, my god. I know you got him. I'm just asking you. Dude, we're piping them grim reflections. Let's go. The grim reflections are gonna destroy uh, by the outlaw rogue man. Let's go. Massive. Yeah. I don't But the damage on the boss does kinda of fade a little bit. But I'm piping the Yanzi instead. Dude, this feels so good as outlaw. I'm actually doing pretty decent damage on those ads. Hi, what's up, dude? We'd have to my man. Hope you have a good one. Welcome, welcome. Yo, chat, we got about 20 more minutes, a little bit less than that, in the raid. I am so excited to be out of this place, just to get a bit of a, bit of a break, a bit of a breather. Maybe fix myself up a quick snack. And uh, get ready for bed, as soon as possible. I didn't really get much sleep this morning. Chat, this fight does really feel good on Outlaw. I feel like I'm able to contribute decent damage to the boss and the win. I'm not really that different in terms of my damage output on Remnant of the King. I mean, I'd be doing exactly the same damage on my sub when I'm funneling. With funneling. I'm, I think my gears all kinds are off on funnel, man. I probably need like a Giga Mastery build with a versatility or something. I have a quick versal for the most part with a little bit of haze, but green, like, yeah. not that, that much. Blasting. On my uh, on my subset, there's no there's don't really know what else I can really do to do more damage. A sub, been trying. In the mirror, I'm gonna talk to my GM. And see maybe if we want me on survival hunt for this fight. So I don't know if I'll be able to do it tomorrow, but maybe by next week if we're still in this boss. Watch it for the Pala. Looks like Pala got help. Nice. He's warm one. What's the best advice someone to get into raiding with UI add-ons? Um, the best would you get into UI add-ons, I would download at least like DBM or Big Wigs. If you're into raiding, it'll give you a lot of extra information on bars when it comes to tracking cooldowns or tracking, uh, not cooldowns, but like boss mechanics rather. Which I guess you could use to track your own cooldowns and line up them better. But if anything, it'll just tell you stuff like, oh, oh, stack, or spread, or you know, go here, go there, you know, watch out, boss is about to cast a spell, you know, it'll tell you like important stuff that show show up on your screen. Technically, so you can learn all those things without add-ons, but if you're looking to catch up to everybody in the current battle, like you're just looking to catch up to the current raid, a lot of the add-ons, specifically DBM, will tell you a lot of the important information, like as a tank, when you should like taunt off of the other tank if it, it, let's say eating a boss mechanic or if there's a dispel that's really really important that you're just missing on your screen that will at least give you a little bit of an idea it's not a good idea to rely on those add-ons for all information but it's a start you use it as a learning tool don't use it as a crutch 
Because if let's say you don't learn the fights themselves and you're just watching when the add-on says, oh, this mechanic's happening, that mechanic's happening, you're not really learning the fight, then yeah. That's what I would do. Because a lot of that, like, decision-making skills is ends up being more important than, like, an add-on telling you, oh, this is about to happen. And then just, like, follow it like a robot. That makes any sense. Okay, you know? Yeah, bro. I think we jump in. Okay, jumpers. Macros and add-ons. As a healer, it's a good idea to maybe make some healing mouse over macros. So you can, like, mouse over someone who needs a heal, and then you can heal them immediately. You could always make a mouse over macro. There's some of there's some on icy veins for restoration shaman in particular, where if you're targeting an enemy, you'll use damaging spells. When you're targeting an ally with a mouse over, it will heal that ally. So it'll be kind of similar to like those can be very very helpful when it comes to learning when you can contribute DPS and when you can heal allies. So when you have your mouse over an ally, it will change to like a heal. I guess like. If I could find it, maybe one of those. I should have them somewhere out here. This is just a simple mouse over. There's one that's like, it does damage unless you're mousing over an ally and then it heals. I don't remember which one now. I'm trying to find it. When I hop on a healer, it shows up easier because it uses like one of the healing spells and the icon has a tooltip for it. I can't remember which one, but if you look up like Icy Veins, macros, and you look up macros for Restoration Shaman in particular, they have a macro like, let's say it'll be like, when you're mousing over and targeting an enemy, it'll be a lightning bolt. When, you, when you're targeting an ally with a mouse over, it will become a uh, healing wave. So if you can like figure out in your brain like, okay, this button is healing wave, but also it's a lightning bolt, and if that can make sense in your head somehow, cool. if you want to replace it with another damage ability, like you'll put maybe like a dot and a hot in the same spot. So like you put an ever time effect that you can apply on an enemy or an ally. A base damage ability that you can throw on an enemy or base healing ability on an ally. A more stronger damage ability and a stronger heal on an ally. Stuff like that. I mean if we get you can pair that stuff second grim reflection around. Set, that would be very very helpful especially as a so healer. Well uh, but UI weapon. add-ons rating. Go with whatever is comfortable. If you want to check out like LVY like you could too. I honestly think yeah. it's better just to so start just, with like a, just kind of a, a or you that, that you're more comfortable that, that's with. That's like the hardcore we're wiping on right now. We get to that next intermission it's and get like DBM. Yeah, easy, that's about all. Very doable. Just make sure you're not when you're doing the boss fights that you're watching the fights themselves. You're not always watching the add-ons around you because the UI elements can give information, but UI elements will not be able to play the game for you either. Like once you learn how to use these UI elements, it, maybe you'll be able to. But like when you're first learning, it's best to learn like what the individual mechanics of the fights are, what you should watch out for. I and mean, if you could train your brain to watch out for like, oh, a boss, let's say, uh, says a voice line, and then he does a certain attack, then you could like, okay, you, you know what to watch out for. You know what you're, tr you're starting to train your brain to like, watch out for things like this. Trying to watch out for certain abilities, trying to watch out for uh, damage out. going out, and like trying to, at that point, it's like you're learning your class. And how your class deals in those raid situations, like cooldowns, management, and such. It becomes a little bit more in depth at that point. But when we're just starting out, yeah, just grab DBM. At least I would recommend DBM. It's very, very like new player Things friendly. One, one. That'd be a good starter. And then you can at least like start like playing, and the game will tell you like, hey, mechanics happening. Very, very important. But like I said, trying to use it as a crutch if, as best you can. It'll be more and more helpful like actually learning the fights. And then the UI you can customize later. Like once you understand how your class plays, once you understand what information you need to track off as you're doing like a lot of the boss fights, then you can invest into more weak auras and you can invest into more like add-ons to tell you other information and such. But that'll be a good starter. You sub? I think you can subscribe. Uh, there, can I? Uh, you think I can get a subscribe from you? you just, <laughs> wait, was this a sub for sub program? What is going on, <laughs> Chris? <laughs> well, welcome. I didn't realize it was some kind of a sub for sub program. I didn't get the pamphlet. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I canceled my membership with sub for sub a while ago. I mean, I guess I could, Chris. Sure. What kind of what kind of videos do you do in channel? How kind of content do you do? What kind of content am I to expect?
With a name like Crossblade, I imagine maybe you're like into like knife crafting or something. Like forged and fire, crafting Damascus blades. Did I get it right? Thank you again, no problem, my guy. Yo, uh, it's a wipe. real Merce. Is it a wipe? Did it mess up? Two ads made it in. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna. Well, it's not gonna work. But real, if you got any more questions, my guy, always be sure to hit up our Discord. Probably the best so place to reach me oh, whenever I'm not streaming. I just heard music. Planning on doing my first tour uh, at the, the Ryman in Nashville, Tennessee. That's cool. All right. Right music. What kind of music do you write? What kind of music are we into? First tour at the Ryman in Nashville, Tennessee. I've been to Tennessee once. I don't remember where. <laughs> I don't remember the city. <laughs> it was a weird point in my life. I we went to Tennessee one time. And I was like, oh, okay. It was weird. I took a look into IC Vins of Cards Forge. I was just trying not to bring up the group down. Trying to learn and understand rating at my own pace. Exactly. As long as you're taking steps forward. That's all that matters. Taking the first step is the hardest step. A drone for sure. Yeah, that's probably the best place to reach me. If you got any questions, especially if you're like trying to get into it, it's your first time. I'm more than welcome to try to answer the questions as best as I can. I'm not going to claim like I got all the answers, but you maybe there'll be something that I might know that may be helpful. Maybe like from past experience or just game knowledge. Rocks and I spot mostly country music. Okay. Are you? I'm not really a big fan of country music or not really. Not that I hate country music, but it's not like I listen to it a lot. I guess the best way to put it. So when I say I'm not a fan, it's not like I hate it. It's like, I just don't listen to it a lot. If that makes any sense. That's cool though. Yeah, I used to be into music myself, actually. I was in a band with friends and stuff. It's gonna be something more like a uh, kind of post-punk, pop-punk kind of deal. But I was always into like more of the, um, on the heavier side, like the scream of meta kind of deal, but like very, very melodic. Like I really enjoyed like popping on the guitar and like, Doing the tappy thing and the sweeps. I was never really good at them. I was practicing sweeps, but I really, really enjoyed the sweeps. Like something really, really heavy. Super fun. It's been a while ago. I still have a guitar in the garage, but it's not like I play any day. I don't got time, dude. If I imagine picking up a new hobby with what I do now, I don't got no new hobbies. My new hobbies are just new video game I gotta play. <laughs> best that's all I got. That's all I got. So far, it's Elden Ring. Shredding guitar was good. I used shredding guitar. Hell yeah, dude. When you when you get the sweeps down, oh my god, it's so good. It's bear. such a good feeling. When you get that su your first sweep down, and like it sounds good, and it doesn't sound all scratchy. It sounds actually smooth. That's a feel. That's a good feeling right there. Ah, okay. That did a lot of damn. Things one. I don't know what happened. I like him, Kel Foster now, and he hasn't said a word. Just quietly DPSing. Just slicing and dicing. Do it is little pirouettes and twirls. The original blood of uh, finishers. Oh, nice. Which one is better for PvE? Feral Druid or Retribution Paladins? Both of them are a little bit off meta. Not gonna lie. Neither of them are bad. They're both pretty even. I'd say, I don't know. That's really a personal choice, I think, at that point. They're both very, very even. They're not, like, neither of those two classes is on the same, like, strength level as, like, a Destruction Warlock. Or a survival hunter, which are like top tier for comparison. I don't know. At that point, it's like a personal preference. Which one you like the most? But like, which one you want to be more useful with? Either or, as long as you're like, uh, I, if you let's say looking for a raid, and you're like, man, which one would uh, get more accepted? A feral druid or a retribution paladin? Soft two classes. They're not bad, but they're just not like standout classes at the moment. Okay, I just I, I blow. Walk out. You're gonna get hotted? Oh, and live. Yeah, 
I think if you want to, if you're open to playing like off specs, then I imagine playing like Feral as a alternative Boomy or Feral as a alternative Resto is really good. Holy Paladin can also be really really good as an alternative. Proud Paladin too, and keys. But like, if you look at those, took him just to red or just to feral. I don't know. It's hard. Neither of them are like. I don't know. Which one would you say, Chad? What would you guys recommend? What would you say is more likely? What would you invite to a raid? A feral or a red pala? I want to say a red pala, just because ferals feel like have been so off meta, but people have been have seen red palas before. It's just a hard, tough choice. But man, that's a hell of a choice. In real, in reality, neither of the specs are bad. Like, just to make sure I'm not like super disparaging, because in fact, they're neither of them are bad. It's just the meta, right? Unless you're like first, unless you're top tier. For some players, it may be like, oh, you're you're just not desirable. It's like a very much Ricky Bobby mentality. If you ain't first, you're last, kind of deal. If that makes any sense. Ooh, big wand. You said that's coming. So just based on that, man, it is it's a it's our choice. Walls. It's whichever one you prefer, whichever one you like the most then. That's what I would do. Whichever one you enjoy, maybe like lore wise, mog wise. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Whichever one you think you would invest more time and do better with. Okay, we've missed that completely. Alright, my dudes. We are Purple done damage, for the night. red for utility. Okay. That's a pretty good advice. Thanks for your answer. Well, big got gotcha, you better answer than I do. You have to get a better answer than I do. Oh, right, Polly? Okay. There we go. Anybody get some answers. Is anyone can pose the gaming reaction videos? Uh, I mean, I, should catch up with I can pose yeah, gaming I reaction on stuff. YouTube? Yeah. Other than that, thanks everyone. Appreciate you. Yeah, of course you can. Thank you, buddy. All right, boys, we're done. Thanks so much for coming by. I appreciate you so much watching. Thanks for chilling with me, boys. I really, really appreciate it. I am gonna Bye. go and probably get myself a bit of a snack. Had a one ten subscribers on YouTube once. That's pretty cool. And this end was definitely a speed bump in the raid. Yeah. How does the raid feel after the nerves? It still is a bit of a learning curve realms. It's it, it still is a learn. I mean, we, we we were learning the boss and then you got nerfed like the week after or like two weeks into, into progression. So for us, he's still like there's still mechanics that are super important. He's not like Halandras, who's like literally steamrolled. Halandras went from like super tough mechanics that you gotta be really, really careful with to like literally mechanics don't barely matter. Actually crazy. Just how like broken the boss ended up being in like easy way. They didn't quite do the same thing with Anduin. They would need to do something more, maybe like health nerves and overall damage nerves on everything so nothing one shots you. That's the only way I think they would be able to like make the fight a joke. But it's not a joke at the moment. Uh, worn doll toy can be attacked on auto attacks if you AOE. Worn doll toy can be attacked and it auto attacks you if you AOE. Really? HPs could use it for focus. Will really? Wait, I seriously? Hold on. I think I know what that is. Hold on. Worn doll. I think I know what that is. I think I have it. Doll. Worn doll. There it is. It AOEs? Is it attacking me? Oh, we tried to. Is, I'm dodging? Wait, it's attacking me right now. Wait, it's attacking me. I didn't realize that. Look, it's, it's hostile. It's actually just kind of hostile in a creepy way, but it's I'm missing it's missing me a lot. Is it still hostile or did it die? I think it died. That or... It just lost aggro. Oh, no, it died. <laughs> that's cool. That's kind of neat. I didn't realize that. Neato. <laughs> All right. That's cool. All right, boys. Thanks so much for coming by. I appreciate you. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the regular, regular stream or for the regular stream in the evening. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys are wonderful, beautiful. And I'll see you boys all next stream. Peace.